Station of Glycod. G L I C O D dot com. Glycod's coverage of the seventh region basketball tournament starts now. And welcome to Glycod's coverage of the uh, seventh region uh, championship ball game tonight in this girls championship, where uh, we have the uh, Sacred Heart Valkyries 26 and seven against the Manual Crimson's 23 and seven, and I am Dr. Todd Carter. Alongside me is uh, Coach Mark Evans, and Coach, uh, so nice uh, to have you with us uh, again. Uh, you've had a long day already being here uh, earlier for uh, boys basketball action, but uh, now tonight we've got, uh, it's ladies night, and along with Max Gorley, we are here to uh, to, to cover first this uh, Sacred Heart and Manuel Crimson's game. Uh, just your thought on uh, these two teams and what we got going tonight. Well, uh, I know I know both programs really well. Todd, from from a lot of years of being being into girls basketball and coaching at Mercy in Odom County, uh, Sacred Heart has not lost a uh, a game in sixty, almost seventy, maybe games by uh, in state opponent. Uh, uh, their losses came at national tournaments where it was the best the best playing against them. At the time, they had a very young point guard. She was a freshman, and but she was you know she had a lot to learn and. Since then, she's came along really, really well. Um, you know, once again, on the on the Crimson side of things, I coached against their coach. And uh, when she played for Manuel, great young lady, bright young lady, was a great player. Uh, you know, she's got a young team uh, overall. They lost five really experienced seniors from last year's team. You know, it will be an uphill climb. I mean, you know, it's going to take a, a spectacular game by the Crimsons tonight to, to come out ahead and to win this region. Uh, Sacred Heart is going for a, a four-peat, which has right. never been done before. And, uh, you know, three state, straight state championships and going for the fourth, and uh, they're healthy and they're ready. And uh, it's, it's uh, you know, like I said, it's going to be a it's going to be a David and Goliath game tonight, I do believe. Um, but we'll see. All right. Well, let's uh, step aside. Uh, coach had the chance to uh, talk to uh, Donna Moyer, the uh, head coach of the uh, these Sacred Heart Valkyries, and uh, we will come back with that interview uh, shortly here on Glycott. UA Local 502 is offering great career opportunities for plumbers, pipe fitters, and HVAC technicians. They're seeking highly skilled and trained workers with or without experience. Incentives include debt-free education, employer-funded benefits, apprenticeship that comes with employment, and high starting wages. If you're ready to accelerate your career or just want a fresh start, UA Local 502 could be for you. Contact them at 502-361-8492. UA Local 502. We do it right the first time. Family owned and operated since 1946, Thomas Car Wash has specialized in making Louisville cars look fresh and clean. Co-owned by 2006 Mill graduate Alex Thomas, Thomas Car Wash has four convenient locations, including their newly renovated one at 5321 Preston Highway, just a mile down from Mail. Additional locations include 6511 Preston Highway, 4139 Bardstown Road, and one at the intersection of Hurstbourne Parkway and Taylorsville Road. From full service to express washes to detailing and towel drying wash local with thomas car wash for your surprisingly great rates contact your local state farm agent today if you want the real deal, call State Farm Agent Brian Morrison in Louisville today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Tradition means values, and we want a banker who has the same philosophy. Traditional bank is a Kentucky-based business, and that does mean a lot to a business that is based in Kentucky. They know what we're going through. They are always there for us and that means more than anything else. My name is Allison. I choose Traditional Bank because of the personal service. Paddle on in to Canoe, Kentucky. 
1965 male graduate and basketball star George Tensley knows the value of providing quality service. And that's what you get when you dine with Tensley Family Concessions. They provide travelers with many fine choices at Louisville Muhammad Ali International Airport. Whether it's Kentucky Fried Chicken, Chili's, or Starbucks, you know your travel experience will be a more comfortable and convenient one. Learn more about our company by visiting the website tfcfamily.com. The news says Gen Z is struggling. I've got news for them. I weigh tables. But last week, I built a field hospital. I put out a forest fire. I stopped a thousand attackers. And a natural disaster. I've saved lives. And led a team on patrol. I serve. While I go to school full time. While I work full time. The greater the challenge, the stronger we become. This edition of Coach's Comments is brought to you by the Kentucky Army National Guard. Serve your country while going to school or work full time. Find your fit at NationalGuard.com. Uh, with Glycod, and I had the opportunity before a big game tonight uh, to speak with a good friend of mine and tremendous coach, Donna Moyer. Uh, Donna, you know, this is a time you need to be hitting on all cylinders and everybody healthy, everybody feeling good. Um, where do you see yourself right now? What's uh, you feel? You know, um, we're, we're healthy. Um, we've got everybody, um, you know, um, we're healthy, ready to go. Um, I think we're very focused, and um, we've had just some really good practices. Um, we had a shoot around this morning, and the girls were, uh, you know, they're they're not taking it too, you know, they, they were just, like, seemed to have the, the right mood that they need like to have. Like a quiet confidence, mm-hmm. maybe, and just uh, just an enjoy the moment type of thing. Yeah, I mean, they were very focused. You know, we did a little walk there, did some shooting, just to kind of break up the day, because, you know, it's just a long day. So we had them in there, and, um, you know, and, and I, I look for us to play well tonight. Yeah, I would expect you to play well. The, the tournament experience that you've had over the last several years, and, um, you know, that, that does nothing but make you better anyway. And the expectations that you have and the bar that you have out there for you, I, I think that, uh, you know, your kids always respond. So I look for that to be the case again tonight. I think they'll play really well. Um, you know, what are, what are some of the things that you that at least you, you're focusing on or maybe keying upon going against this manual team? You I know, mean, um, everything with uh, manual starts with uh, number 13, James. Um, and she's, she's an excellent ball player, um, kind of controls that team. And then um, Tolbert, um, you know, so I think, um, you know, we've got to make sure that we put some ball pressure on them. And, um, you know, we look for them to junk it up a little bit defensively. So we've worked on, you know, some just some offenses against some junk defense. Um, you know, I don't know if they'll box in one Z or triangle in two. You know, we were just kind of throwing in some stuff like that just to get ready. Well, I think that's fantastic because, you know, you, you well know, you know, when I, last time I had the opportunity to coach against you when I was at Anderson County, we played the try going too. Mm-hmm. But uh, Z was a lot younger then and got a little bit flustered then. It's a different Z I see out there now. She's fantastic. Yeah, she's just worked. You know, they all have, um, you know, but it all starts with our leadership from our seniors, you know, from Claire, Russell, Angelina Playa, and Reagan Bender. And, um, you know, just their, their focus and their attention to detail and, you know, them just kind of getting everybody in line. Cause you know, we got a freshman point guard and she, she said, you know, at practice the other day, I never made it out of districts, you know, our first round of region, I've never been this far. And, and then everybody's kind of like, Hey, we got you Tootie, you know? So, um, you know, I look, she might be a little nervous tonight, but hopefully she can settle in. Uh, you know, I, I've seen the biggest turnaround round. I mean, I, I've, like I said, I'm impressed with your entire team, but I've been really impressed with your point guard because early in the season, I, I saw her and, uh, and uh, she's a much different player now. You're more, more, much more in control. Uh, I see her focus is on pressure defense. Where at the, at the very beginning, I don't think that was so much the thing. But that's just a mark of well, well coached, and, and you all do. You that. know, and that that's a mark of like, you know, we stayed with her and we were able to let her, you know, play through a lot of mistakes, um, you know, and, and kind of get her confidence on the court. And um, you know, she's played some big minutes for us, and. Um, you know, we just talk about um, with our team, like, hey, you got to be able to defend first. And, um, you know, championships are won on the defensive end for sure. I know everybody likes offense and all that, and I am too. I'm the biggest fan of offense going. But, 
I know it's got to be on the defensive end too. Well, when you play great defense, you frustrate the other team, and, and a lot of times you turn them over and you get easy baskets. So to me, it's always been the defense flows into the offense and vice versa. Yeah. But uh, wish you the best of luck, Don, and, and uh, I always enjoy talking to you. All right, thanks, Mark. Thank you. All right. The news says Gen Z is struggling. I've got news for them. I wait tables. But last week, I built a field hospital. I put out a forest fire. I stopped a thousand attackers. And a natural disaster. I've saved lives. And led a team on patrol. I serve. While I go to school full time. While I work full time. The greater the challenge, the stronger we become. Go ahead, pour it on, as thick as you want to. Holy Smokes Barbecue and Catering. Serving up the tastiest ribs, chicken, brisket, brown sugar sticky wings, mutton and ham. Always served to you fresh and so good, it'll make you say, Holy Smokes! Holy Smokes Barbecue and Catering, 7508 Preston Highway. Holy Smokes! For more than 35 years, online and through our branch office locations, Ruoff Mortgage has helped people discover, finance, and move into their homes with confidence. From the moment you send in an application to the day you get the keys, Ruoff keeps things moving exceptionally fast. By sharing knowledge and professional guidance, Ruoff Mortgage helps people see the potential and excitement in the homeownership experience. Visit one of our convenient branch locations or get started online at Ruoff.com. I didn't order any pizza. Jake from State Farm. After you saved me so much dough on insurance with that Parker promo, I devised a promo for you. Here's the deal, Parker. State Farm offers everyone surprisingly great rates. Right. Pepperoni pockets. Cuckoo crusties. There's no promo. It's just great rates. And a cider ranch. For surprisingly great rates and great service, call State Farm agent Mike Shelton in Louisville today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there new recruit take advantage of our apprenticeship program come out of our four-year course debt-free with health insurance a guaranteed pension a degree and an electrical license the words i'd use to describe the apprenticeship are opportunity skillful educational solid career path rewarding beneficial and a brotherhood a life-changing opportunity the cost of school is free all your books are paid for you go to school once every two weeks all the other stuff is on-the-job training. The teachers here are great. Uh, they're all very, very knowledgeable. They're preparing you for what you're already seeing in the field. If you're struggling with something in school, sometimes your fellow students can help you work through that. Everyone's willing to help each other. It's like a big family. I love being a part of a union, something bigger than myself. This field is so vast. You can find something that you really love to do because there is so much you can do. I went from a job to a, a life-changing career. Power up your potential with the IBEW. You're watching the 7th Region Basketball Tournament on Glycod. Dr. Todd Carter and Coach Mark Evans with you for this 7th Region Championship ballgame tonight between the Valkyries of Sacred Heart and uh, the manual Lady Crimson's tonight's keys to the game are presented by IBEW Local 369. Power up your potential for those keys. Let's turn it back over to Mark. Uh, first, Mark for Sacred Heart. Thank you, Todd. Sacred Heart's keys tonight, push the pace. Uh, they'll they'll want to get up and down the court. They do. They run a great break, and they score a lot of points by doing that. Turn the Crimsons over. Uh, this uh, Crimson team's got a lot of, they're not as experienced as they were last year with the guard play, and uh, I think that the Valkyries could maybe capitalize on that. Stay out of key foul trouble. You know, the, 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 there's, there's depth on the uh, Valkyrie team, but there's a couple key players that really have to be on the court for them to be successful. All right, and for the young ladies from Manuel. All right, uh, the DuPont Manual Crimson's Keys for the night is, number one, limit the turnovers. Uh, second thing is their transition defense will have to be at its best tonight uh, against the uh, break that the, uh, that the Valkyries run. And limit Johnson's touches. Uh, Zakiah Johnson is a fabulous player, one of the best I've seen in a long time. Number 11, uh, she's, she's a great teammate. 
She finds her people. She can score at multiple spots. Uh, she's just a tough player, and if she touches the ball a lot, good things happen for the Valkyries, not so much for the opposing team. I gotcha. All right, so those are your IBEW keys to the game. IBEW Local 369, power up your potential. Now it's time for me to tell you that this broadcast is authorized by Jefferson County Public Schools in the 7th region with production rights owned by Glycod Media. Our aim is to provide the most positive representation for all student athletes, coaches, and game personnel. And we thank you very much for watching. Well, let's take a break. When we come back, uh, Coach had the chance uh, to talk with uh, Manuel Crimson's head coach, and we'll be back with her momentarily here on Glycott. New recruit, take advantage of our apprenticeship program. Come out of our four-year course debt-free with health insurance, a guaranteed pension, a degree, and an electrical license. Three words I'd use to describe the apprenticeship are opportunity, skillful, educational, solid career path, rewarding, beneficial, and a brotherhood. A life-changing opportunity. The cost of school is free. All your books are paid for. You go to school once every two weeks. All the other stuff is on-the-job training. The teachers here are great. Uh, they're all very, very knowledgeable. They're preparing you for what you're already seeing in the field. If you're struggling with something at school, sometimes your fellow students can help you work through that. Everyone's willing to help each other. It's like a big family. I love being a part of a union, something bigger than myself. This field is so vast. You can find something that you really love to do because there is so much you can do. I went from a job to a, a life-changing career. Power up your potential with the IBEW. Go ahead, pour it on as thick as you want to. Holy Smokes Barbecue and Catering. Serving up the tastiest ribs, chicken, brisket, brown sugar sticky wings, mutton and ham. Always served to you fresh and so good, it'll make you say, Holy Smokes! Holy Smokes Barbecue and Catering, 7508 Preston Highway. Holy Smokes! I'm your overly competitive brother. Psych! And I'm about to steal this game from you, just like I stole Kelly Carter in high school, huh? No! And now you're ready to settle a score. Game over. <laughs> and if you don't have the right home insurance coverage, well, you can end up paying for all this yourself. So get Allstate and be better protected from mayhem. Yeah, like me. Thanks, bro. Take a lap, rookie. Nineteen sixty-five male graduate and basketball star George Tensley knows the value of providing quality service, and that's what you get when you dine with Tensley Family Concessions. They provide travelers with many fine choices at Louisville Muhammad Ali International Airport. Whether it's Kentucky Fried Chicken, Chili's, or Starbucks, you know your travel experience will be a more comfortable and convenient one. Learn more about our company by visiting the website tfcfamily.com. Fly direct, not just Not just blind. You're watching the seventh region basketball tournament on Glycod. Now this is Mark Evans here with uh, Glycod, and I've had the opportunity to catch up with a old friend of mine one that i coached against and we've been we've been close for a lot of years it's just fantastic here but coach franklin of the uh depot manual crimsons is with me and uh coach since we haven't seen your team play a whole lot this year tell or at least i haven't tell me a little bit about you uh so my girls were pretty young this year we lost five pretty good seniors really good seniors last year so we got a lot of new girls and um, not as strong IQ as we would want them to be, but um, we're young and we're working them hard. They're in different roles, and we just really tugging along and um, trying to make them do the little things that matter. Um, it, it's nice to show both, but the little things is what um, win your championship. So that's kind of what we're doing. We've had some ups and downs this year, but 23 and 7 right now, I can't can't complain. Uh, they're, they're buying. They bought in um, pretty late, but they bought in. That's what's the, what's important. So. I'm just hoping we can put it all together today. 
Well, they just said it follow the lead of their coach because I, I, I remember her as being pretty, pretty good myself. Yeah, well, thank you. And taking care of all the little things and the details. I'm just pretty good and let's talk great. But um, I guess that, I guess after that, you know, after you told us a little bit about the team, what are you going to have to do against the Sacred Heart team that's kind of been here and done that before? We got to work hard. Um, we got to we got to do it from the tip. And we have to work hard, have the same intensity um, from the tip to the last horn, regardless of what's going on in the game. If they score, it doesn't matter. We can't dwell on it. We got to get the ball out the net, get up the court, and try to push it. Um, we also got to set, you know, correct screens again, going back to the little things, making the hard cuts, boxing out, pushing back, um, stepping through on a pass, meeting the pass. So we got to do the little things tonight. They may outsize us, but um, if we make sure we box out, um, crash the boards hard, take good shots without any fear, we'll be okay. Sounds great, Coach. I'm sure they they just need to listen to you and follow your, your lead. Huh? <laughs> That's what I think. <laughs> I agree. Hope I'm right. <laughs> I agree. Well, good luck to you, Coach. Thank great you. Senior. Oh, it's so good to see you. So Thank good you. To see you too. The news says Gen Z is struggling. I've got news for them. I wait tables, but last week I built a field hospital. I put out a forest fire. I stopped a thousand attackers. And a natural disaster. I've saved lives and led a team on patrol. I serve. While I go to school full time. While I work full time. The greater the challenge, the stronger we become. For more than 35 years, online and through our branch office locations, Ruoff Mortgage has helped people discover, finance, and move into their homes with confidence. From the moment you send in an application to the day you get the keys, Ruoff keeps things moving exceptionally fast. By sharing knowledge and professional guidance, Ruoff Mortgage helps people see the potential and excitement in the home ownership experience. Visit one of our convenient branch locations or get started online at Ruoff.com. Jake from State Farm. I would like to formally extend my gratitude for the Russell rate on my insurance. Do you mean surprisingly great rates from State Farm? I don't believe in accepting help, but I'll make an exception. Here's the deal, Russell. There's no special rate. These prices are for everyone. Consider our square. I made that from memory. I know your face that well. For surprisingly great rates and great service, call State Farm agent Mike Shelton in Louisville today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Flycon on YouTube is Kentuckiana's fastest growing high school sports video site. When you click to subscribe, don't forget to tap the bell and be notified of our upcoming live broadcasts and other unique video content. Subscribe for free now at youtube.com backslash Glycon. The reason I went to Traditional Bank, I just felt at peace. The atmosphere was different. Anytime we need anything, Traditional Bank's always there for us. Can't say enough about them. Tradition to me, means integrity. That's what our product's based on. Just the way I did it 25 years ago, we're doing it now on a mass scale. My name is Curtis Mackley, and I choose Traditional Bank because of the relationship we have formed with them and their integrity. Welcome to Mingy Beef Jerky. UA Local 502 is offering great career opportunities for plumbers, pipe fitters, and HVAC technicians. They're seeking highly skilled and trained workers with or without experience. Incentives include debt-free education, employer-funded benefits, apprenticeship that comes with employment, and high starting wages. If you're ready to accelerate your career or just want a fresh start, UA Local 502 could be for you. Contact them at 502-361-8492. UA Local 502. We do it right the first time. Family owned and operated since 1946, Thomas Car Wash has specialized in making Louisville cars look fresh and clean. Co-owned by 2006 Mill graduate Alex Thomas, Thomas Car Wash has four convenient locations, including their newly renovated one at 5321 Preston Highway, just a mile down from Mail. Additional locations include 6511 Preston Highway, 4139 Bardstown Road, and one at the intersection of Hurstbourne Parkway and Taylorsville Road. From full service to express washes to detailing and towel drying wash local with thomas car wash you're watching the seventh region basketball tournament on glycod it's time for the starting lineups for tonight's seventh region uh, girls championship matchup tonight's starting lineups presented by ruoff mortgage 
Ruoff Mortgage opening doors. First, let's look at the uh, Sacred Heart of Valkyries. Uh, they will go as follows. Number zero, uh, Amira Jordan, a uh, freshman, 5'3 uh, guard. Uh, Zakaya Johnson, number 11, uh, at six uh, feet, uh, a wing, averaging almost 19 points a game, a junior. Claire Russell, number 12, a 5'8 uh, wing, a senior, uh, averaging four points a game. Uh, Reagan uh, Bender, a 5'10 uh, senior, averaging nearly 14 points a game. And Angelina Paleo, uh, averaging 10 points a game, a 6'3 uh, senior. Uh, Coach, any, any thoughts on uh, the, that side of the starting lineup? Extremely good starting lineup. They got all the bases covered. Uh, they had probably, probably the best player in the state of Kentucky playing for them. That's unselfish. They got a, a young point guard that's really starting to understand the game. And then they have a lot to go around. They got great size in Paleo. Uh, and they have Bender. And Bender's a knockdown three point shooter. Not shooting as well percentages wise as in the past, but I would never want to give her an open look when the game mattered. For the Lady Crimsons, they will go as follows. Uh, number four, Electra Lovely uh, Tolbert, uh, averaging 11 points a game. 5'4", Junior. L uh, London Sweeney, averaging 10 points, a 5'10", uh, uh, Senior. Uh, Ashlyn James, a 5'5", Sophomore, uh, averaging 16 points a game. Then uh, London James, a 5'11", uh, Senior, averaging uh, just over three points a game. And Alana Smith, a 5'10", uh, Senior, averaging just under eight points a game. And uh, that will be our Crimson starting lineup. Uh, lovely Tolbert, Sweeney, James, James, and Smith. And you know what? While I wanted to get Coach to comment on that, we are about ready for our national anthem here. So we are going to step aside, and uh, we will be back shortly with the opening uh, tip in uh, this one, uh, seventh region uh, championship contest tonight uh, between uh, the girls. UA Local 502 is offering great career opportunities for plumbers, pipe fitters, and HVAC technicians. They're seeking highly skilled and trained workers with or without experience. Incentives include debt-free education, employer-funded benefits, apprenticeship that comes with employment, and high starting wages. If you're ready to accelerate your career or just want a fresh start, UA Local 502 could be for you. Contact them at 502-361-8492. UA Local 502. We do it right the first time. Glycod's coverage of the 7th Region Basketball Tournament starts now. Tonight's game is brought to you by UA Local 502. Built on excellence, building a better tomorrow. Tinsley Family Concessions, commitment to quality. Polo Real Estate Group, a realtor you can trust. State Farm Insurance Agents Brian Morrison and Mike Shelton. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Blunt Dental Group, straightforward smiles. Allstate Insurance Agent Thomas Allen, he puts you in good hands. Thomas Car Wash and Holy Smokes Barbecue. Now, courtside for all the action from Glycon. As the uh, introductions are being made on the court of uh, both of these uh, ball clubs, it gives us the opportunity first, I guess, Coach, just uh, any thoughts uh, that you might have on that uh, Manual Lady Crimson's uh, starting lineup here before we get too far into it. Any Anything in particular jump off? Well, as Coach Franklin said, they, they have a really pretty much a new cast. They lost five extremely good seniors. Of those seniors from last year's team, they were guards. But they're led, they're led by... Um, by Ashlyn James. I mean, they go as Ashlyn goes. Uh, she leads them in scoring, but she also leads them in getting them where they belong, where they need to be. So she's a strong player for them. And they, they have four kids in double figures, and that's always a recipe for winning. Yeah. All right. Uh, so uh, we wanted to get those thoughts in. Uh, let's uh, go ahead and show you our officials. Uh, Wallace Brooks, JT Taylor, and uh, Dave Push with our alternate green uh, 
Brian Wallingford, who is over here on the side, just in case he is needed. And then we'll show you our series notes as well. So since 1999, Sacred Heart has won 26, Manuel's won 14. Uh, the Valkyries have won the last uh, 10 matchups. And uh, in the playoffs since 2002, uh, Sacred Heart has won nine, Manuel has won three. And as both teams have been and now we're going to do the national anthem. So there again, we are going to step aside. We'll be back in just a few moments on Glycod. For your surprisingly great rates, contact your local State Farm agent today. If you want the real deal, call State Farm agent Brian Morrison in Louisville today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. You're watching the 7th Region Basketball Tournament on Glycod. For more than 35 years, online and through our branch office locations, Ruoff Mortgage has helped people discover, finance, and move into their homes with confidence. From the moment you send in an application to the day you get the keys, Ruoff keeps things moving exceptionally fast. By sharing knowledge and professional guidance, Ruoff Mortgage helps people see the potential and excitement in the homeownership experience. Visit one of our convenient branch locations or get started online at Ruoff.com. You're watching the 7th Region Basketball Tournament on Glycod. As we are back here for this 7th Region uh, Championship Contest between uh, the uh, young ladies from uh, Manual and from uh, Sacred Heart, Dr. Todd Carter and Coach Mark Evans along with you on the call for this one. Should also, I'll, I'll give a, a, a preliminary uh, or a, a preliminary shout out to Bob Tanini for uh, supplying us with some uh, some stats that we will be bringing you as we go along, and uh, that is uh, he, he's jo always Johnny on the spot with that, and has been already been helpful making sure that uh, we were up to date on who our starters were, etc. So very helpful there. But I look for Sacred Heart to get out and really push the pace and go for a quick start right off the bat. Might even see some full court pressure. So the tip controlled by Sacred Heart. Sacred Heart in red. Manual in the home white. Yeah, Manual's opening up. You might see some junk tonight. You might see some mixed type defenses. They're opening up in man to man at this point in time, though. Yeah. Rebounding is key. You know, that's two offensive rebounds right off the bat by Sacred Heart. Yep. Get a put back by Johnson. You know, that's not a that's not something that Manuel can withstand tonight if that's uh, gonna be the case. Well we we all knew uh, Johnson would be big involved in this one. Absolutely. She's big involved in all of them. A and nice little pull up from uh, from one of the Crimson's. London James mm -hmm. on that. Johnson, a long three-pointer. Yeah, she, she's got uh, she. People talk nowadays about three levels. She can hit all three levels. She's got a beautiful three. She can make a pull-up 15-footer. She can get the ball to the rim. She can also post you up. Uh, they play quality defense. Well, that, one thing I mean, really, really like about Johnson, Todd, is she plays hard on both ends. She right. takes a lot of pride in her defense. Sometimes you don't see that from, quote, stars. I know when we saw them earlier in the year, Coach, I was very impressed with how she hustled. She hustled with the ball, without the ball, in between uh, every chance she got. Well, she also looks for the players. I was there at senior night watching them doing the game, and she spent the whole night making sure that these other kids got opportunities to make shots. Yeah. 
Sacred Heart has always played a pretty quality man-to-man, -man, and I think you'll see that tonight. They all play the roles very well. They help very well, but they also pressure the basketball. London Sweeney trying to get the ball into Ashlyn James, who was held. That's going to go against yeah, got, got, Jordan. Got caught kind of holding under the shirt that time, kind of by this good official of the 11th region. JT made the call. And ball again into Ashlyn James, who really kind of makes this Lady Crimson's offense go. Oh, nice step there. She just couldn't get it to go. Yeah. You see the respect, though, that Secular has for James. You know, they're opening up with Johnson, their number 11 star on, on um, the Crimson star, number 13. Now they'll get caught in switches from time to time, though. Paleo. Uh, nice look there yeah. to Jordan. Yeah, nice little give and go. Uh, defense turned their head, and there she went. And then the ball thrown over the head of Sweeney. Yeah, yeah. For the Crimson, I'm a little bit concerned about the pressure defense and turnovers. So Johnson hands it off to Jordan, and the offense gets rolling. Working on the right side, oh, trying to find Johnson, finding Jordan underneath. Yeah. Just got too far under, didn't you, Coach? Yeah, just a little bit late on the pass, Todd. And then Paleo couldn't handle the uh, pass. Now, Leaker out there, but intercepted by Jordan. Quickly down yeah. to Johnson on the other end. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the Valkyries tend to handle the ball just a little bit better. And then a block there. It's lovely. Tol Tolbert. Ball thrown into traffic and wrestling it down. That was Paleo and Alana Smith both going to the deck. Yeah, uh, Sacred Heart feels good about the start, I'm sure, that they've gotten off to. Pace is their pace. Even though the Crimson's like to play fast, I don't know if they can control the ball well enough to, to, to withstand without making turnovers. It's going to be a big piece to this. Mariah Blount checked in the ball game for Manuel. Valkyrie yeah, stay man to man. Blount with it there. Shakes and bakes, takes it inside, tries to use the glass, couldn't quite get it to go. Russell down with the board. Johnson quickly ahead. And uh, that was good from Bender. Well, you know, you see it on all my keys. Anytime a team plays Sacred Heart, I have for the other team transition defense. Transition defense, transition defense. And so far, you know, it's 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 not going the way Crimson needs it to go. As London James trying to take it inside. Yeah, yeah she's trying to, I'm sorry, Todd. She's trying to force the action and trying to draw a forced foul, but you know, quality officials aren't going to give you that, and they did not give her that either. Timeout on the floor by uh, the uh, Crimson, so we will take a brief timeout as well. Uh, back with more here on Glyca. 1965 male graduate and basketball star George Tensley knows the value of providing quality service, and that's what you get when you dine with Tensley Family Concessions. They provide travelers with many fine choices at Louisville Muhammad Ali International Airport. Whether it's Kentucky Fried Chicken, Chili's, or Starbucks, you know your travel experience will be a more comfortable and convenient one. Learn more about our company by visiting the website tfcfamily.com. You're watching the 7th Region Basketball Tournament on Glycod. As we return to this 7th Region Championship game. Yeah, the guy stepped up and took the ball. She, she and Tudor, the two that run the one. Oh, nice cut there from Bender, but an offensive foul yeah. call. Yeah, great job. Just, just a fantastic job by, uh, by Ashlyn James. Like I said, she plays both ends of the court and plays them well. And yes. the, the thing that I noticed there as much as anything, there was Akaya Johnson, though, just, just how well she oh. recognized the floor and, and got that ball down where it needed to be. Absolutely. And Sacred Heart's going to try to press and create more turnovers right off the bat. That's James in traffic. Whistle comes. 
you, know, you don't hear Claire, Claire Russell's name a whole lot, but she does all the dirty work for, for Sacred Heart. You need she players get, like that, she don't gets, you? Oh, absolutely. They complement each other really well. She's a, she takes charges. She, she gets rebounds, and, and she can make a shot if she needs to. Ball in the corner. Three made. Yeah, that was blunt. Yeah, they're all big. If they could get hot from the third point line, things might change a little bit. But Sekhar does a good job of pushing you off the three-point line, too. There's Bender on the far sideline. Got a whistle. And a foul. Yeah. Look, for a, look for a set, pretty strongly set inbound play right here. So that's Davis whistled for her first. Paleo finds Jordan. Jordan from the baseline. Can't get it to go. Johnson with the nice board, though, yeah. and the putback. Great job by Johnson sliding in on the weak side boards. Nose for the basketball, getting way up in there, coming down strong and settling and burying the shot. More turnovers. Ball tipped away. This is Bender going back the other way. Lays it up and in. Yeah. Coach Franklin might be getting a timeout here real soon, Todd. Uh, the second arc can really turn up the heat on him. Bender's got four in the contest thus far. Ashley James. Oh, tried to get it to a lovely Tolbert, and it was nearly picked off there. That's and a foul comes against Jordan. Yeah, that's a big foul. That's two on their starting point guard. Yep. You know, got to be aggressive, but you also got to be real smart, especially with an official standing next to you. Sekhar played this lineup a lot at the beginning of the year as as uh, as uh, Jordan was learning, and uh, it's a pretty solid lineup. Zakia moves to the one spot and plays the point, and she's tough. And Emmy Lee Howe checked in the ball game, drive there, and uh, the bucket. That one from London Sweeney, her first. I think it's a good game. I think it's a good game playing by Coach Franklin. I mean. Take the ball at him and, and try to draw some fouls, and you never know who might foul out. And a shot up by Howe. Couldn't get it to go. Good board there by the Crimsons. And then foul, Ashlyn James trying to go by Howe. Well, she's hard to handle. She's lightning quick, and she knows where she's going. She's a, she, could, she could get you in foul trouble on a given night. Well, she's already the two players that have – couple players that have been on her already have three so well they started off with Zakaya on her and I, that's true then rotated her yeah. off I think yeah. yeah very impressed with this young lady now let's watch the break by Sacred Heart on the made shot let's see if the Crimson can get back this time yeah. nope they're gonna walk it down and set it so both free throws free throws good by James her first two points in the contest. a 1-2-2, two, two, it looks like. 1-2-2 two, two trap, but they're not trapping now. Just straight 1-2-2. Two, two. Down inside. Paleo yeah. uses yeah. the glass. Yeah, well, changing up defenses when 1-2-2. Two, two, ball goes to the baseline, becomes a 2-3 anyway. And uh, they did a nice job of finding Paleo. Just basically spread five out. Well, four out, one in somewhat. Spreading out, trying to find the gaps, attack the basket. Speaking now, of attacking the basket, but then the board, oh, taken oh. out of there by Cross, but then taken away from her. Oh, Johnson with the pass. Yeah, yeah great Try play by Johnson. On the great, replay. Wow. Yeah, great steal by Johnson. Quick hands and set her player up for a score. She, she's a joy to watch. Can't wait to show you that one again, folks. Three ball rolls out of bounds. So that gives us a chance to look at it here. Behind the back pass. And the shot up and good there by Bender, her sixth yeah. point of the contest. Yeah. As I said, Todd, you know, when Zakaya comes up and starts running the one, they run a little bit more set, but boy, she can get the ball to the right places every time. Play a little give go, but Excellent. the ball knocked out of there. Good defense. Yeah, great block. That's Smith. Looks to run. I'm sorry, that was Davis, my fault. Davis, but the foul comes underneath. Yeah, they're getting a you know, the Crimson, they're getting a few second shots. That was another, you know, just, just they're just attacking the, the rim and then following the ball, and so far they've picked up a couple fouls and a couple of loose balls and gonna have to make the free throws now. 
Claire Russell whistled for that one. Sweeney gets the first to go. Blunt ch checks back in the ball game. Ashlyn James goes to the sideline for the Lady Crimsons. Second won't go. Okay. Sacred Arc back on the attack. Back in the 1-2-2, two, two, point drop is what it is. And Johnson misses on the three. Pressure, though, comes through as Bender takes it away. Now back the other way, and then a push. Yeah. Sweeney whistled for that one. Well, both teams are playing fast at this point in time, sure Todd, are. but Sacred Arc's playing more efficiently fast. Bender uh, gets it to go. Uh, excellent take. Spread them out and find the gaps. Now, interestingly enough, Manuel's already in the bonus for the quarter. A minute to go. And the three ball wouldn't go. That's Hemery that uh, took that, couldn't get it to fall. Well, the Crimson better be careful ball hanging and hanging around or they're going to get that all day long. Yep. You can't stand back and hang around and organize. Sekiro gets the ball out. They run the lanes, and they'll get layups. So tough, tough time right now for the Crimsons. Big, big important time, too, the next couple times down the court. Yeah, you know they'd like to uh, try to cut into this. Yes. Beautiful. Good drive. Oh, and then uh, the block. Yep. Beautiful drive and draw, and, and they fill the other lane. Did a nice job, but Secker Hart uh, recovered quickly and did what they needed to do, block it down bound. That was Johnson just swatting that thing uh, at the Sacred Heart cheerleaders there. Well, Coach Moore is getting her freshman point guard back in with two. I, I, I totally agree with her. I think you need to play these kids. I, I hate that deal where they sit them out for the entire half because of two fouls. So Davis... But sometimes you can get bit, Todd. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Yeah, you just never know. You want them to play smart, but. Well, I mean, Sacred Heart gets it. I mean, they, they know where they are. She's learning. She's learning on the fly. This is the first biggest game she's ever played in in high school. And they always can go to Zakai Johnson to run the point if they need anyway. And speaking of which, Zakai Johnson comes to the uh, sideline, get an extra yeah. 30 seconds of a, yeah. of a rest yeah. here before the into the quarter. Yeah, they get gives her about a two or three minute break. Yeah, that, nice. That's, that's smart coaching. Russell steps back and hits the three. She doesn't take a lot of them, but she's pretty efficient when she does. She's not a big... 60% uh, uh, three-point yeah, shooter yeah, on, yeah. The, on the season. Doesn't take many, though, Todd. She, and she the three the coming the other way will not go. So at the end of the uh, first quarter... Sacred Heart 26, Manual 12. Come on back. We will have second quarter upcoming here on Glycott. The news says Gen Z is struggling. I've got news for them. I wait tables. But last week, I built a field hospital. I put out a forest fire. I stopped a thousand attackers. And a natural disaster. I've saved lives. And led a team on patrol. I serve. While I go to school full time. While I work full time. The greater the challenge, the stronger we become. You're watching the 7th Region Basketball Tournament on Glycod. As we return, second quarter action for you in this 7th Region Championship ball game. Dr. Todd Carter. Coach Mark Evans on the call for uh, this one. And then Gary Forrest will be along for the 6th Region uh, Girls Championship coming up uh, after this one at about 7.30, thereabouts. Well, Todd, the uh, Sacred Heart Valkyries are, got into the transition game. It's been good to them. They're already 12 of 18 for 67% from, uh, from, from the field and uh, 2 of 4 from the three-point line. Whereas uh, the Crimson's are 3 of 10 for 30%, 1 of 3 for the 3 for 33%. So it's all bearing out. Not, not a good thing for the Crimson's and a great thing for the Valkyries. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, Bender ends up with the three. Can't get it to uh, go. But Paleo usually does a real nice job. They use Paleo at the high post a lot, fanning balls off for good shots. Looks like Sigurd's back in a 2-3 zone, but it was too, too soon to tell, really. James with the three, but couldn't get it to fall. Jordan tripped in the backcourt. Yeah, the Valkyries are also, they've already had seven assists in this game, and the Crimson's has one. Yeah. And they're going to 3 2, 1 2 3, whatever. It's probably a point drop. It is. It's a 3 2 point drop. Well, she didn't drop that time, so maybe she's confused. Russell takes it in. It gets the whistle. Could not get the bucket. Yeah, good, strong drive. Hard to guard that over there when they, when you give them that right hand, they, they just go by you. So Russell, 69% uh, free throw shooter, will step up to the line. Can't get the first one to fall home. Sacred Heart's a good ball team. They, uh, they usually shoot the, the free throw just a little bit better, but they're right about at 70%, and that can do a lot for you down the road anyway, for the most part. One of two made there by Claire Russell. Sacred Heart's look at man press, and they may trap out of it. Nope, just straight up man and falling out of it. Looking to run and jump if possible, didn't happen. So James looking to go. She's got a burst. Yeah, she does. She got a super first step, and... That good body control and finds the gaps. Just her second bucket. Long bomb to Paleo, but she was shoved. Yeah, that was a call. I'm not so sure she wasn't out of bounds before she was shoved, but. Kendall Emery was whistled for her first foul, the freshman. Ball inbounds to Paleo, fouled again. Yeah, when you get. They run that inbounds play all the time. When you get the ball to Paleo that deep, you're, you're usually going to foul. She just got the size and the strength. So that's senior London James with that one. Well, whereas last, whereas in the last quarter, it was uh, uh, Sacred Heart committed a, a, a number of fouls early in the gave Manuel a chance to maybe get to the line. There are four fouls already with 6-41. Uh, so from here on out, uh, Sacred Heart will be in the bonus with one of those two made there by Pelea. Well, and if Johnson comes back in the game, you don't want to foul her because she shoots about 87% from the free throw line, I do believe. Neither. 75, I think it yep, says. 75. But, but that's still pretty doggone good. Yeah. Well, you know. Jordan. Trying to find Paleo on the break. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Saved by Bender to Paleo. And then back to Bender. She hits the three and is fouled. Well, that was not picture book lane running by Sacred Heart to have two in the same play. But it all turned out really well for them. They were charmed. Let's show you that replay as Bender hits the three. And now the 77, almost 80%. Free throw shooter and Bender goes to the free throw line. That was a yeah. a whale of a playoff. And Reagan Reagan is uh, Coach Moore's niece, so they have a strong family connection here. All right, we've got a full timeout on the floor, so we will take a uh, timeout as well when we come back. More uh, uh, second quarter upcoming here on Glycock. UA Local 502 is offering great career opportunities for plumbers, pipe fitters, and HVAC technicians. They're seeking highly skilled and trained workers with or without experience. Incentives include debt-free education, employer-funded benefits, apprenticeship that comes with employment, and high starting wages. If you're ready to accelerate your career or just want a fresh start, UA Local 502 could be for you. Contact them at 502-361-8492. UA Local 502. We do it right the first time. You're watching the seventh region basketball tournament on Glycod. Six 
seventh region championship action on the uh, girls side this evening uh, sacred heart out uh, big 32 uh, 14 with 6 10 left to go in the second period here as uh, sacred heart uh, on a 15 game win streak and as coach mentioned in the pregame they've not lost to anybody inside the state of kentucky and how many a couple of years now a couple of years now yeah. yeah last time they lost was to mercy in triple overtime one of my old teams this is uh, this game for the right to play the 10th region uh, champion on Thursday at 6 p.m. And our ticker is going to be full of yeah. the championship schedule, yeah. all the different. Uh, well, Sacred Hearts went to a 2 3 tonight. zone, and I think that's smart because I think Manuel has a lot of outside shooting struggles. And uh, as long as they don't get gapped by the layups, they'll be fine. It's yeah. Morgan Frey uh, was. Uh, in the wrestling match there with London Sweeney for the ball. Well, the other thing too, Todd, is Donna's able to go as deep as she wants with her bench with this lead, and she's went already very deep. Jordan tries to keep her chin up to the rim, gets the ball up there, and then we've got a tie up Well, between uh, Johnson and Smith. The Crimsons are going to have to find a way to make a, to knock down maybe a, an outside shot or two to loosen them up a little bit, but you know, like I said, the Valkyries are sharp. They're just back in a 2-3 tight zone, and, and uh, it makes it really hard on the Crimson. That's Bender. Oh, trying to cross-court pass. Yeah. Ends up getting deflected. But Well, you see more and more of that yeah. today. They drive that hard baseline opposite, kick opposite corner for oh. three corners. Three-pointer goes from uh, Johnson. A little English on that one. Mm -hmm. It's a 2-3, just puts the ball pressure out. And then the takeaway, that's Bender again. Bender got in a little bit too deep. Good defense there yeah, from James. Great defense, cut her off, did a good job. Jordan fouled. See if we can show you that on the drive. Yeah, you're starting to, it's awful early, but you're starting to see a lot of frustration on the, on the Crimson players at this point in time. Still, still hustling and going hard, but just a little frustrated with trying to, trying to make, trying to find a way to open up the basket for themselves. Jordan knocks home the first and gets them both. Well, Donna said she felt real good about the shoot around today. Felt like they were really loose in a good way and. Really focused. They sure do look focused when we talk to Valkyries right now, don't they? That they do. They look locked in. Into a 1-2-2 two, two defense. Well, I think they fell back into a 2-3. They just showed a different front. Great pass. Quickly down to Bender. Took a, takes a little bit of a hard spill. Got that ball up on the, yeah. the rim, but things yeah. up out of bounds. Yeah, got a little too far under with that yep. one. You know, didn't get the ball quite soon enough. Right. Just a... Just a Brief moment uh, too late. Let's see what, what, how they pick up here. Stay in zone. They're just working on their zone is what they're doing. They're working for a different day. Donna told me they've been working on it behind the scenes quite a bit. That's Fry with the uh, defense there, knocking the ball out of bounds, though. So well, stay with the Crimsons. If Manuel could maybe find a way to get somebody in the middle, it may help them a whole lot against the zone. Sweeney and then a very alert Ashlyn James waiting till the ball gets across the half-court line to get it and then bring it back rather than yeah. trying to corral it and carrying her momentum, carrying her over. Well, Manuel needs some floor balance, and they need somebody in the middle. Nice Euro step there, and uh, well done by James. Yeah, found the gap. I mean, I understand when Donna said, got to keep an eye on her. She's awful good. She's got a quick first step. And then a little foul there. That's going to go against Howe, her second. I'm not sure what uh, what Coach Ashley Franklin was trying to uh, convey to her team, but she was uh, upset that they didn't uh, they didn't quite catch what she was trying well, to tell her. She's trying to get a, a tandem guards up on top, and they were all standing down underneath the basket. Good defense there from Sacred Heart underneath. 
Bender finds Paleo on the block. Double team comes. Finds Johnson. Sakai Johnson. Nice dish there. Fry could get it to go. Paleo. And the foul, it would not go. Well, our Val- the Valkyries are just dominating right now. Um, you know, they're, the, the Crimsons are having a real hard time giving up second and third shots. And, and uh, just not a good recipe for, for a good day. Paleo eyes the first and gets it to go. Play a 63% free throw shooter. She gets to the line a lot. She she needs to love uh, Zakiah Johnson, though, because Johnson gets in the paint and draws the defense and flips it up to Paleo for a lot of her baskets. So she gets point-blank looks a lot of days. Back into the 2-3 zone. Uh, look, look a little confused. Johnson. Dishes this time, and a travel as Brooklyn Davis, the sophomore, took a step early before putting the ball on the deck. Yeah, this 2-3 zone is really, really giving the Crimson fits right now, Todd. Johnson running the point. Uh, you got the Crimson back in a 2-3, in a I guess. I don't know. Fry shoots a short little jumper. It was short, but Paleo just cleans up. Forty-one sixteen. Paleo trying to knock it away from London James. Just didn't get quite thin enough. She used a proper hand, but she just didn't she cut a little body that time. She almost got that steal. Ball dump over. James shoots the three and hits it. Smooth looking shot. So Ashlyn James knocks home the triple and then a whistle on the other end. I'll tell you what, Johnson decided that time she wasn't going to give it up. She, nope. was, she decided she was taking it to the strong basket. And London James with the foul. So Johnson with nine so far in the scorebook. Knocks home the tenth there. I will say that is unofficial. I'll I'll, ch- I'll check my numbers <laughs> with the official score at ha- at half, but that's unofficial. I'm sure you're correct, Doug. Uh, I'm probably close. Yeah. Let's put it that way. I've got her with 11, Miss Sakai Johnson. Well, she makes it look easy, doesn't she? The she game does. In, the game yeah. completely. Ball into the corner. James looks to drive, spin move, dumps it back over. That's Davis, can't get it to fall. And uh, fight for the rebound, London uh, Sweeney and uh, Claire Russell. That Russell young lady comes back again, like we talked about earlier. She does a lot of the little things. So tie up, possession goes to Manuel this this go round. No, maybe they're saying stepped out, I'm sorry. Ball inside, James. Real well, well run play. I just a uh, little bit late developing. Nice play. Oh, it wouldn't go. Yeah, Sekerard does a really nice job of passing and cutting. They do a lot of basket cuts, and they usually get rewarded for them too. And you got an excellent free throw shooter at the at the line, Todd. So Bender knocks home the first. 77% from the free throw line. Yeah, 77. I realize you're you're reading my my yeah you, my my chicken scratch tran, uh, transcription there, so you never know. But that's yeah, that's right. what I have. Doctor's handwriting, you know. <laughs> Three off the mark there by Blount. And followed, though, by uh, Sweeney. Beautiful pass by oh. Johnson to Bender. Yep. Transition defense floor. is going to be awful important, and it's, it's a 
It's just not happening right now for the Crimsons. They're so worried about trying to score against this 2-3. They're forgetting to get back. Board comes off to Kincaid, who's doing the ball game. Well, and Bender, who averages not quite 14 a game. We've already got her with 16 unofficially. Yeah. James fouled. Paleo reaches in and across the body. Am I mistaken, Coach? That's one of those, if, if they reach in, if the ball's on the same side, that's a tough one to call. But as soon as the ball's on the other side and you try to reach across for it, that's just too e too easy for and the striped a, shirts to that's call. That's the same philosophy as a back tip. If you run on the ball side hand and tip away, you have a much better chance of getting it the other way. Yeah, you can't go through a body. Yep. That is a long three-pointer taken by a lovely Tolbert. Yeah, they're, they're really not running anything now. They're just taking the first open. Look, but that might be why they're open. Oh, Johnson up and in with the left hand. Yeah, she just glides up and down the court. She's a joy to watch. And on the other end, not able to use the glass, there was James, and we've got a whistle with just 12.2 ticks left. Uh, Ashton James looks awful good. You know, she just needs yep. a little bit more help out there today. Yeah. Well, and you said the Lady Crimson's graduated, what, f they, five they, players? They graduated five very good players with yep. a lot of experience that Ashley had. And they were guard, several of them were guards. And, uh, you know, you get in these games like we are in today, and, and now it's a 2 3 zone, and they're struggling scoring anyway. It just it multiplies on you, and that's what's happening to the Crimson's. First of the free throws made there by our Claire Russell. Goes with a made three-point bucket and an earlier free throw that she had. Yeah, look for him to get the ball in James's hands and her take it pretty much in the end right here. So two makes. Gives Russell six. And we're about to head to the half. James in. She's fouled with 1.3 seconds left in the act. So she will go to the free throw line. Yep. She, uh, we, we knew who the, whose hands the ball would be in. Right. That's for yep. sure. Yep. For she sure. did what she needed to do. Now she just needs to knock down a couple free throws. So you can at least go in on a two-point positive going into the locker room here at half. Got James, uh, again, this is unofficial, but I've got her with 12, so it's yeah. not a bad first half. But well. the Valkyries, of course, way up, and that will do it for our uh, first half of play at the half. Uh, Sacred Heart Valkyries uh, 51 and the Manual Lady Crimson's 24. Let's uh, step aside, hear from some of our uh, great uh, Glycod sponsors. We'll be back. We'll get the ticker running for you, get you some official stats here on Glycod. Welcome to Holy Smokes Barbecue. At Holy Smokes Barbecue, our pit master smoke up mouth-watering ribs, chicken, brisket, mutton, and more. From sandwiches to full dinners, with a complete list of sides and desserts, Holy Smokes Barbecue. Just tell them that the man in the big white hat sent you. Order up. How's the pork chop taste? It's pretty good. It's the best one I've ever had. Holy smokes, barbecue! Tell them the man in the big white hat sent you. When you're buying or selling a new home and you want to do it with few hassles, count on Polo Real Estate Group. Founded and owned by 1993 male high graduate Dion Reese, Polo Real Estate has over two decades of experience and offers skillful consultation and representation for your sale or purchase. If you're a new or experienced agent and you would like to join Polo Real Estate, contact them at 502-702-7656. Polo Real Estate Group, a realtor you can trust. New recruit, take advantage of our apprenticeship program. Come out of our four-year course debt-free. With health insurance, a guaranteed pension, a degree, and an electrical license. Three words I'd use to describe the apprenticeship are opportunity, skillful, educational, solid career path. Rewarding, beneficial, and a brotherhood. A life-changing opportunity. The cost of school is free. All your books are paid for. You go to school once every two weeks. 
all the other stuff is on the job training. The teachers here are great. Uh, they're all very, very knowledgeable. They're preparing you for what you're already seeing in the field. If you're struggling with something in school, sometimes your fellow students can help you work through that. Everyone's willing to help each other. It's like a big family. I love being a part of a union, something bigger than myself. This field is so vast. You can find something that you really love to do because there is so much you can do. I went from a job to a, a life-changing career. Power up your potential with the IBEW. For more than 35 years, online and through our branch office locations, Ruoff Mortgage has helped people discover, finance, and move into their homes with confidence. From the moment you send in an application to the day you get the keys, Ruoff keeps things moving exceptionally fast. By sharing knowledge and professional guidance, Ruoff Mortgage helps people see the potential and excitement in the home ownership experience. Visit one of our convenient branch locations or get started online at Ruoff.com. The news says Gen Z is struggling. I've got news for them. I wait tables. But last week, I built a field hospital. I put out a forest fire. I stopped a thousand attackers. And a natural disaster. I've saved lives. And led a team on patrol. I serve. While I go to school full time. While I work full time. The greater the challenge, the stronger we become. 1965 male graduate and basketball star George Tensley knows the value of providing quality service. And that's what you get when you dine with Tensley Family Concessions. They provide travelers with many fine choices at Louisville Muhammad Ali International Airport. Whether it's Kentucky Fried Chicken, Chili's, or Starbucks, you know your travel experience will be a more comfortable and convenient one. Learn more about our company by visiting the website tfcfamily.com. Tonight's Halftime Report is brought to you by Tinsley Family Concessions, a tradition of corporate excellence and community service. For more, visit tfcfamily.com. Halftime here at uh, Valley High School in this 7th Region uh, Championship ball game. Uh, between the uh, Valkyries of Sacred Heart and the Manual Lady Crimsons. And uh, first, I want to bring your attention to tonight's scoreboard ticker. Scoreboard presented by Traditional Bank, who you bank with matters. And, of course, uh, the biggest uh, score on the scoreboard is this uh, Sacred Heart 51, Manual 24. And uh, that will lead us to uh, looking at some uh, first team statistics from both ball clubs. Tonight's halftime stats presented by Ruoff Mortgage. Ruoff Mortgage opening doors for those. We'll turn it over to uh, Coach Mark Evans. Coach. All right, uh, Todd. Let's start with the uh, Crimsons. Uh, really, really, really a tough time tonight so far. Uh, the defense of the Valkyries and the Valkyries' ability to run the court has really, really put them in a, in a bind. Uh, the Crimsons right now are 8 of 26 from the field for 30, 31%. Nine, uh, two of nine from the three-point line for 22%. And six of eight from the free throw line is 75. If you want to flip that over and you want to look at the Valkyries just for a second, just to match up the two, the Valkyries are 17 for 27 from the field, 63%, four of eight from the three point line for 50, and 13 of 15 from the free throw line for 86, almost 87%. You look at the turnovers, the Valkyries are, are taking care of that too. They, they uh, you know, they, they only have five and, and, uh, Crimson's have seven, but the bigger picture is rebounding. The uh, Valkyries are 21, 21 rebounds to only nine for the Crimson's. And, uh, you know, assists, it's a 10 to three by the Valkyries. Look at scoring. Uh, the Valkyries almost have three people in double digits. They have Zakai Johnson with 16. They have Regan Bender with 16. And they have Paleo with nine, their inside player. Uh, for, the, for the Crimson's, they really, it's a, it's a one-person show so far tonight, and that's uh, number 13, which we heard a lot about, Ashlyn James. She's a 4'10", 3 of 8, 1 of 2 from the 3, 3 of 4 for 12 points. Her next closest teammate has 5. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's, it's been a difficult night, and I'm afraid if it continues like this, it's going to stay difficult for the Crimsons. Well, I should also note, as I was looking at this, the stat sheet as well, with Zakiya Johnson, 16 points, also 6 boards. So really doing uh, yeoman's, yeoman's work uh, all, all along uh, 
both you know both ends and uh, doing what she needs to do and has run the point also for a bit here in this uh, well, this first half. Yeah, she does an excellent job at the point. Uh, she gets them where they need to be, and uh, you know it works out real well for for the. She can play any position one through five. When I first coached against her when she was younger with the Falcons, she played a lot of post, and she can make post moves too. You just don't they don't need them right now from her. All right, well, let's uh, take another break. And when we come back, we'll get things reset for the second half of action from the uh, seventh region semifinal here on Glycock. 1965 male graduate and basketball star George Tensley knows the value of providing quality service. And that's what you get when you dine with Tensley Family Concessions. They provide travelers with many fine choices at Louisville Muhammad Ali International Airport. Whether it's Kentucky Fried Chicken, Chili's, or Starbucks, you know your travel experience will be a more comfortable and convenient one. Learn more about our company by visiting the website tfcfamily.com. Tradition means values, and we want a banker who has the same philosophy. Traditional Bank is a Kentucky-based business, and that does mean a lot to a business that is based in Kentucky. They know what we're going through. They are always there for us, and that means more than anything else. My name is Allison. I choose Traditional Bank because of the personal service. Paddle on in to Canoe, Kentucky. not just Not just Flycon on YouTube is Kentuckiana's fastest growing high school sports video site. When you click to subscribe, don't forget to tap the bell and be notified of our upcoming live broadcasts and other unique video content. Subscribe for free now at youtube.com backslash Flycon. Family owned and operated since 1946, Thomas Car Wash has specialized in making Louisville cars look fresh and clean. Co-owned by 2006 Mill graduate Alex Thomas, Thomas Car Wash has four convenient locations, including their newly renovated one at 5321 Preston Highway, just a mile down from Mail. Additional locations include 6511 Preston Highway, 4139 Bardstown Road, and one at the intersection of Hurstbourne Parkway and Taylorsville Road. From full service to express washes to detailing and towel drying wash local with thomas car wash jake from state farm i would like to formally extend my gratitude for the russell rate on my insurance do you mean surprisingly great rates from state farm i don't believe in accepting help but i'll make an exception here's the deal russell there's no special rate these prices are for everyone consider our square I made that from memory. I know your face that well. For surprisingly great rates and great service, call State Farm agent Mike Shelton in Louisville today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. UA Local 502 is offering great career opportunities for plumbers, pipe fitters, and HVAC technicians. They're seeking highly skilled and trained workers with or without experience. Incentives include debt-free education, employer-funded benefits, apprenticeship that comes with employment, and high starting wages. If you're ready to accelerate your career or just want a fresh start, UA Local 502 could be for you. Contact them at 502-361-8492. UA Local 502. We do it right the first time. You're watching the 7th Region Basketball Tournament on Glycod. As we are back just in time for the opening here and uh, Valkyries uh, on first possession yeah, in Emmanuel, the second that Valkyries have to go against a 1-2-2 zone. Uh, no trap to it, just a 1-2-2 zone. And they've eaten it alive that time. Oh, and they got yeah. the ball down into Paleo. Yeah, yeah. That, that weak side of that one two two is hard to cover down, especially against the size of Paleo. And then the little fight for it there, London James and Paleo. A little wrestling match over the ball there. Yeah, I'd say Sacred Heart's going to stick with their zone, but we'll see. James on the drive gets it to go. 
She's an awful good ball player, Ty. She, she's a nice little pull-up. She can make a three. Great speed. Get the ball to the rim. Plays hard on defense, but like today, it's just a little bit too, too much sacred heart. And then a fight for it. Wow, that's uh, two number 11s there, Sweeney and Johnson battling it out. And uh, it will be possession manual on the alternating possession. Yeah, you got a little chase going on right now. You got number 11 with face guarding Zakia Johnson, which as we talked at the beginning, I think they should have maybe started it that way because you just can't let Johnson touch the ball. You have to limit her touches. Well, and number 14, London James, chasing Pelea. Well, if you, yeah, a little bit of jump, probably a little triangle too. But, but what you're now, seeing though, Sacred Heart is posting up Johnson as we were talking about on a smaller player. All right, so Bender to trigger, does. Yeah, it's just a pure chase right now. Just a reminder, our second game uh, this evening is the uh, sixth region championship between uh, Bullet East and the Butler Barretts. Johnson with the miss, follows, gets her own rebound, and then uh, Bender couldn't yeah, make it happen yeah. from point blank range. Yeah, I would like to see Reagan that time use her left hand instead of a right on the left side. but uh, Short there from distance by Smith. It was on line, but just short. I was just going to say, though, uh, as uh, Coach Evans uh, steps out for that second game, Coach uh, Gary Forrest will step in for that, uh, taking the taking the spot for uh, Jeff Cooper, who is uh, quite ill. Jeff, our best uh, wishes to you. I hope you get well soon. Not feeling feeling very under the weather. Wow, Paleo with a excellent block, Ooh, completely pancaked it and pushed her down. Great job by Paleo. See if we can show you that on the replay here. This took it away. Yeah, the, the Crimson's coming out with a lot of energy here. You know, we'll see if they can translate into some some scores. But uh, Sacred Heart won't back down. They have an edge to them anyway, and a good edge. Oh, yeah, oh yeah. Jordan steps into passing lane, heads the other way, leaves it for Johnson, who got too far underneath. Yeah. And then a whistle. Foul after the pass. Yeah, it's That's going to go against London James. That's her third. If it continues oh, this way. Fourth, excuse me. If it continues this way, Todd, you'll, you, you put second round on the free throw line anytime soon. It could go really bad really quick again because uh, they'll make those free throws. It looks as if Manuel's bringing everything to God now. A lot of, a lot of aggressiveness. Man to man, man to man by Manuel. Doing the best they can to stay with Johnson. Trying to get the, looks like they want to get the ball into Paleo. Double team comes. Jordan gets it back. Yeah, they needed to swing it, and they did. And they did. And Jordan, yeah. uh, actually the two smallest players on the court, Jordan and lovely Tolbert in there. Yeah. Fighting yeah. for that board. Yeah. Jordan got up really high and got a big rebound, but came down, not balanced, and fell down and got the travel call. Yep. But Manuel's really trying to hoop it up and get him, get themselves going. A lot of energy on the bench, but Sacred Heart been down these roads before. In the corner, and the three long off the iron, but out of bounds. Brooklyn Davis couldn't connect there. All right, let's see what they're in this time down the court. I would say man-to-man, -man, they'll just stay with it. They pretty much have to do that, I believe. Their zone wasn't very effective. Coach uh, Coach Franklin yeah. in imploring her girls to just keep fighting. Watch a back cut coming. Here it comes. And a whistle comes. Bender on that cut will go to the free throw line. Yeah, Tyler, they go to that 1-4, they have a little action off of it, but usually ends up with a backdoor cut and a, a dump pass for layup. So again, Bender, has got uh, had 16 first half points. Back in the scoring column for the second half now with that pick it, 17. Pick it up where she left off, Todd. Yep. 
Yeah, her teammates helped her a lot, though. I mean, Zakiya Johnson makes sure she sees the ball in good places, and Bender does the same for Zakiya. Zakiya's back into man-to-man. -man. Got out of that zone they've been working on. It was it's again. Couldn't get that one from that side either, and then uh, ball knocked away from her and out of bounds. Yeah, Emmanuel's trying to force the action right now, but there's very little ball movement, so it's a uh, it's tough sledding going against set defenses. Sure. In the corner, that one will go. There's your transition so, by Sacred Heart. Lovely Tolbert, her first yeah. bucket of the night, and whistle comes down low, and then we had a second whistle. Now you got a double technical, yeah, I do believe. Yeah, I think so. On 21 and 25, a lot of lot of chattiness going on right now. Really, no need for it, but that's what's going on. So the original is original 13 against James, yeah. Against Paleo, the original. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, Paleo. And then let's see what we got here. You got 21 and 25. So 21 and 25. Yeah, double technical. They were chatting it up a bit. So that's Bender and Smith. As uh, Coach Franklin trying to uh, trying to get trying to uh, get uh, get some explanation, and uh, referee uh, just walked away from her and says, "Let's go." So Paleo will step to the uh, free throw line. Yeah, you know, they may have called that Todd on uh, on Johnson. I'm not really sure that double technical. I'm not positive. I thought it was 25 and 21. Yeah, I did too. But uh, and as who is that? Sweeney hits the deck. Yeah, this game's getting a little bit rough. It could get a lot rougher too. It's a uh, Hopefully nobody gets injured this late yeah, day. Sure, absolutely. Don't want that. All right, so we have a timeout on the floor taken by uh, Coach Franklin. So we will take a timeout as well. We will be back with more third quarter upcoming here on Glyc. The reason I went to Traditional Bank, I just felt at peace. The atmosphere was different. Anytime we need anything, Traditional Bank's always there for us. Can't say enough about them. Tradition to me means integrity. That's what our product's based on. Just the way I did it 25 years ago, we're doing it now on a mass scale. My name's Curtis Mackley, and I choose Traditional Bank because of the relationship we have formed with them and their integrity. Welcome to Mingy Beef Jerky. You're watching the seventh region basketball tournament on Glycod. As we return to uh, J.C. Cantrell Gymnasium here at Valley High School, home of the Valley Vikings, but tonight home for the seventh region uh, championship. I'm Dr. Todd Carter. Alongside me is Coach Mark Evans for, uh, for this uh, contest. And this one's been uh, pretty much all Sacred Heart from the get-go. They led... Uh, 26-12 at the end of one, and 51-24. Things have slowed down a bit here now in the in the third quarter, but uh, also things have gotten a little rougher, Coach. Yeah, we don't want to see rough. that. Well, Emmanuel came out with a different type of intensity, and, uh, and uh, you know, it's, 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 it's kind of bordering on a little bit ugly both ways. They just need to calm down and play basketball. So Clay Russell, after the first miss, steps up, but misses both. And then Bender can't corral, and it will come back the way of the white jerseys. We see if Sacred stays in their man-to-man. -man. Right now, Johnson's sitting on the bench, so uh, we'll see how that goes. Oh, Great play. Yeah, very good play. Trying to get the ball down to uh, Smith, and Emmy Lee Howe stepped in the passing lane just took that thing away and then the foul on the run out real nice job of getting thin and and reading the passing lanes and just jumped the passing lane and made a good play 
at Sweeney's third. Well, you're also in five already, Todd. You got four minutes to go left in the quarter, and we're shooting free throws every time with the thank manual fouls. You. And thank you for reminding me to put that on this, put that on our scoreboard. Yeah. And that's Hal banging home the first there. Yeah, that's awful early to be in that five foul range. Two free every time is pretty tough. Powell made one of two, and then Russell trying to corral the free throw, but the ball knocked out of bounds off of Russell. Yeah, I thought Russell did a nice job. I thought she got bumped pretty hard that time, but, you know, it's uh, hard to see them all. Second arts. Up pure man to man. That's Blount. Takes it in, misses everything, and then Russell again in a little bit of wrestling match with well, Brooklyn Davis over the ball. And Paleo was in a very difficult matchup out there on that young lady. I mean, you know, she pretty much went right around Paleo, right to the hole, but Sekiro had some pretty good help behind. Myra Jordan checks to the sideline as Zakiya Johnson back in. Come in and run the point. Let's see what defense we're in, see if we're in kind of a mix. Yep, we're zoning it now. Yep, Crumbin. Bender thought about the three, then uh, was going to pass it, and then went ahead and put it up there, couldn't get it to go. Sweeney takes it to the other end and blocks. No foul. And then a technical. And I didn't see who the technical went against because I had already looked down. The original foul was against Bender, 21. The technical was against Bender also. Okay, so so that'll meet total her third. Let me see if we can show you the replay here while we're getting set. Sweeney will. So Sweeney will 70% free throw shooter. She'll shoot the first two. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Put it in, put it in. They, it's been ugly a little bit. Yeah. And so Manuel getting two there. Making it 56-31. Goes to. And made three of four, did uh, London Sweeney. And the Crimson's get the ball back. Yep, they for sure the do. Possession, yep. So they can score five to six points this time down if they can score here. Just over halfway at, done with the third period here. Been a long period, Todd. It has been, been actually. a long, not, not really pretty play period. That w w wouldn't have anything to do with the fact that we've also been sitting here since uh, 11.30 <laughs> this morning. <right>? Could be. <laughs> Could be. All right. James taking in there. Spin move was fouled. Three on Jordan. Yep. And once again, they always have a backup by bringing Johnson into the one, so they'll be fine. I'm going to say that was on the floor, not a on, shooting foul. Out, Smith to trigger, does inside. Blunt well, was too far underneath, though. And uh, make there. A little bit Will of a Smith. mini mini comeback that time. Yep. Picked up about five, six, seven points. Yep. Long way to come back, though. Great up. Feeds Paleo. Good look from the front of the dish. Just wouldn't go. Oh, and then a tackle. That was not unintentional. Just a player knocked down and ended up knocking down another one that bowling pinned the third. A yeah, nice quick hello and little baby hook by Paleo just didn't go down, but... Uh, once again, 12 steps in the 
So, Russell steps in there and gets a big rebound. So that sends uh, Smith to the bench with two points on the contest. Disqualified after her fifth foul. Kendall Hemery checks in the ballgame. And Claire Russell, not quite 70% free throw shooter, eyes the first. Ooh, part of the way down and popped out. Yeah, I got a little bit of a push to her. She pushes the ball. She gets a little bit better lift, might help her out a little bit. She'd probably be a 77 percent free throw shooter. But she gets to the line a lot because she works hard at it. Second stays man to man. Well, actually, they're they're in a matchup, I do believe. I'm not sure what they're in right now. And uh, make there. Well, they've been working on. Sarah's been working on a lot of the lot of zones, so I think they're experimenting with some different things today. Emery with that board. James thought about it. Now the three ball short by Sweeney. Russell looks to push. Yeah. Steps back, dumps it down to Paleo. Oh, and then couldn't find the running how. Oh, Johnson with a nice move there. Yes, she does. She's sweet move with the right hand, and if you give that to her, she'll make it every time. And Johnson with 18. And then ball knocked out of bounds. Yeah, yeah. A lot of, a lot of shots coming from strange places right now, Todd, and who made the last bucket down here for uh, for Manuel? You remember? Uh, no, I do not. not. That's okay. Well, we'll get it in the post game stats. I as Jordan just loses the handle on the baseline there. Yeah, she pretty pretty out of control on that play. That little handoff play. She's trying she's trying to get Bender the ball in the corner. Uh, Bender's not even in the game, so it wouldn't have worked out anyway. But uh, she threw it away. Just a it's an empty possession. All right, here they go. Let's see. Yeah, they're in a matchup. Two three is what they're in. That's what it looks like. Yeah, it's just a, it's a matchup zone. Into the corner, and the whistle comes on the three-point attempt by Brooklyn Davis. Yeah, Sakai got her on the shot, got her on the arm. No. What's interesting, a 36% three-point shooter, but only a only a 58% and and 38% not a, not a or yeah. 36 not a not a great three-point percentage, but not no, bad either. But no, 58 no. not as good a free throw shooter. No, so. you would think that if you have a pure stroke and you can make nearly 40% from the three, you probably have a pretty good free throw. Oh, typically uh, that one bounced around up there for ages, but uh, yeah. did not go through. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Unless about. unless she hasn't had a lot of uh, attempts or something. you know. Right, you right, yeah. No, that looked pretty good. That was a nice stroke. Hard, hard to believe she's 58% with that stroke. Got another one. Yep, gets another attempt out of here. We'll see what Manuel does with 143. See if they think maybe about pressing on a make here. Sophomore eyes the third. That one won't go either, but the offensive board comes off to James. Great move. Takes it right back in. Oh, that ball was halfway down before it finally popped out. See if we can show you that quickly before the ball comes back up the court by Sacred Heart because that was a great yeah, rebound yeah. and uh, attempt. Ball was halfway down, just yeah. spun right back out. Yeah. When things aren't going your way, sometimes they really don't go your no, way. No, they don't go your way. And that time they were thinking about pressing, but half of them were in, half of them were out of it. So it's time to fall back. That's Russell. Tries to take it around, gets it up to the rim. Couldn't get it to go. Scramble for the board. Fry. Yeah. And the held ball goes possession to... Uh, Manual. Manual. Well, and obviously I didn't have the arrow set the right way, folks. My apologies there. Now it'll be right. Yeah. Cigar's back, Going man. back the other way. Huh? Nope, matchup. 
James just couldn't get it to go. A little out of control there. Jordan, oh, she corralled it, tried to bring it out of there. Just lost the handle. Yeah, she's, she's a hustler in there. She goes in and gets them, but you got to be able to pick the ball up and control it if you're going to move it on down the court. Less than a minute left here in this third period. Sigurd Sig Sig in the man to man. Fry knocks it out of bounds. Look for, look for Ash and try to find a gap right here. Spin move up and around Paleo. And then a good follow there as well. But finally, Jordan brings it out of there. Heads to the other end, gives it up to Fry. No, excuse me. That was how, but uh, a jump ball. A tie-up as the uh, guards for Sacred Heart unable to capitalize. Yeah, pretty ugly quarter so far. It's Only more, eight, more, eight points for Sacred well, Heart. And it looks like more mud wrestling than basketball right this minute. Just to really, really got into a kind of a plain and sand. Kind of a slug, slug fest sort of game. Very much it? so, yeah. yeah. Just, both teams are giving great effort, and it makes for right now it's just a tough game. How with it, gets it low. Paleo working in traffic, gets it to go. Yeah, she gets you in that deep under the rim. You might as well just forget about it. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. So at the end of three, it is Sacred Heart 61 and Manual 37. Let's take a break. When we come back, we will have fourth quarter action upcoming here on Glycott. For more than 35 years, online and through our branch office locations, Ruoff Mortgage has helped people discover, finance, and move into their homes with confidence. From the moment you send in an application to the day you get the keys, Ruoff keeps things moving exceptionally fast. By sharing knowledge and professional guidance, Ruoff Mortgage helps people see the potential and excitement in the homeownership experience. Visit one of our convenient branch locations or get started online at Ruoff.com. The news says Gen Z is struggling. I've got news for them. I wait tables, but last week I built a field hospital. I put out a forest fire. I stopped a thousand attackers. And a natural disaster. I've saved lives and led a team on patrol. I serve. While well, I go to school full time. While I work full time. The greater the challenge, the stronger we become. And we are back to live action as they went quickly there and into the fourth quarter now. Yeah, Todd, that was a 13 to 10 quarter. Yep. Uh, that was a rough one to watch. It really wasn't a pretty quarter of basketball, to be honest with you. Man was all in on the man to man. Right there, nice job, the ball reversal. and Jordan with a nice drive there. Yeah, yeah. all set up by good swinging the ball quick and got the driving lane. Neither team shooting the ball well at all in that half. The uh, Valkyries uh, just 3 of 11, 27%, and the uh, Lady Crimson's 4 of 14 for not quite 29%. Yeah, it got, it got really rough, bottom yep. line, and it, 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 it wasn't smooth basketball. Jordan gets one of two there. Nice take. Nicely done there by Sweeney. Yeah, I don't think Coach Moore would have been real happy with that closeout by one of our Valkyries that time. It looks like Sacred Heart's going to go to Paleo, go to Paleo, and go to Paleo and use her size advantage. Yep, trying to. So London James comes out of there. And then down in underneath was Sweeney. And then James and Paleo 
trying to. Well, I don't know when word. the last. I'm sorry, I didn't mean no, to. No, go ahead. I don't know when the last time I've seen so many jump balls. If it wasn't a little grade school game or something, I've seen more jump balls in this game than I've seen in a long time. Possession arrow this time goes the way of the Valkyries. So Jordan, cross timeline. And an open post offense with basket cutters. Johnson ends up picking it up, takes it down. Oh, nice move there. Uh, off the front of the rim, but Bender cleans it up. She couldn't get it to go. Here comes Johnson for the board. And a reset. Yeah, she's almost magic with the ball. That's Johnson. She's <laughs> a little sleight of hand that time. Into the corner, Bender. Just one of their offensive sets. Once again, it's a five out. Basket cuts. Circling out. through about every other time. Founder. That's Russell. Good defense, though. And poor pass. Yep. And then Bender on the cut. Couldn't get it to go. Fry trying to come down with the rebound and another jump ball. Well, that and would have been four offensive rebounds if she would have if the ball would have went the other way that time. But wow. So possession arrow goes back the way of the home Crimsons. And a timeout on the floor. Timeout taken by Manuel, and we will take a timeout as well. Come on back for more here on Glycock. Probably a competitive brother. Psych, and I'm about to steal this game from you. Just like I stole Kelly Carter in high school, huh? Foul! And now you're ready to settle a score. Game over. <laughs> and if you don't have the right home insurance coverage, well, you can end up paying for all this yourself. So get Allstate and be better protected from mayhem. Yeah, like me. Thanks, bro. Take a lap, rookie. Contact Louisville and Lexington Allstate agent Thomas Allen for a quote today. You're watching the seventh region basketball tournament on Glycod. This segment of tonight's game brought to you by Allstate Insurance. Agent Thomas Allen for a quote on home, auto, or life insurance. Contact Thomas at 502-425-8484. Thomas Allen, 425-8484. Sixty-two thirty-nine, and then a bump. Johnson, I, I was impressed there just to, to you go down and keep her dribble. Yeah, she fun is, to watch she is Miss Johnson. Watch. And she's only a junior, right? With yeah. with offers from everywhere. You yeah, you name it. Yeah, a big time program, and she's been offered from there. I can understand why. Broken up, but Bender comes down with it, takes it to the hole, but couldn't get it to go. Follow Russell with the bunny, and it gets to go. So a nice job of transition defense. Got down the court. James quick. in traffic gets the bucket and the foul. Yeah, Russell got caught a little bit sideways on that. She could have got squared up, but you also have to give. Uh, you really have to give. Uh, oh, Ashlyn James credit for turning her body and twisting around and not taking the hit. So James gets the bucket and the uh, free throw. Give her unofficially 17. Well, again, check the official stats at the end mm -hmm. of the ball game. But Segura yeah. expected pressure. It's a 1-2-2. Three-quarter court trap. So far, they've handled it. They'll fall out and then figure out what they, I think they're going to man. So the Crimson's are trying everything they can to create turnovers and easy baskets, but so far, Sacred Heart has handled it. Johnson just wisely steps back and keeps her head, resets the offense. Now wants it back. She'll shoot the three this time. Drains it. Yeah, she she loves that spot. She's really worked hard on her three-point shooting over the summer, and she loves that smooth little spot right up there at that top left corner. Oh, nice block there by Amira Jordan. Beautiful pass. 
And then Fry runs the court well. Yeah. Yeah, Johnson glides the court, and her teammates glides the two pretty well. That was a great unselfish play by Johnson. And we've got a... Okay, we've got some switches here. Mm -hmm. Players in and out. The Sacred Heart's gone with their, but still with their starting line at this point in time. They are, yep. Yeah, and they need to be. I mean, this is... Just get you ready for state tournament time now. Great read by Johnson. Great pass by Johnson. And That's nice run out there by Jordan. Absolutely. Sagard's so still getting back quick and well. Crimson's trying to attack. I think the Crimson are wearing out, though. Yep. They, uh, they gave it everything they had, but Sagard's just too strong. And ball ripped out of there by Jordan. And now comes back, or stays on this end of the court, I should say. Beautiful drop, drop pass to Paleo. Into Paleo, but she's fouled. Yeah, Russell to Paleo, drew the defense, dropped it off, and Paleo's fouled. So Paleo eyes it, flies it, knocks it home. Yeah, you're, you're getting ready to have some cigars, making some moves. 3.27 to go. Just got Johnson out of the game. Just got Bender out of the game. And that's a smart coach. Well, as you said, work on state tournament stuff. But it, at this point, too, pretty well salted away with those well, two. Paleo low really has been. but uh, It's been a tough game, though. It's been a very anybody, physical yeah, game. very physical game. You don't want anybody hurt here in the end for either team. Yep. Well, well, you never want them hurt, but right. Well, especially you're going, going for your fourth straight uh, yeah, yeah, state absolutely. championship. Yeah, and of course now you've got off until Thursday that uh, they, the winner here will play the tenth region champion Thursday at six p.m. Very nice. Nice shot there by Blunt. And then the steal on the other end. Quickly to the other end, but a little too far. Yeah, yeah, I like the fight in this manual team. They, they never stop. They battle, they battle, they battle, they battle. But they not, not the firepower needed to go against the right. second part with so many scoring opportunities. Well, and so much of that, so much of that comes, from the, comes from the coach, don't you think? I mean, that you can tell. Coach Franklin, still, she's still working it on the sideline there. She, she was fun to coach against. I, I loved Ashley when I coached against her. We've always been close friends because of that, and she got into some other coaching in different places, and we've always kept our communication going, but she was a feisty, really, really great point guard. Forgot where she played college, but she was a great player at Manual. Two forty-nine left in uh, this one, and then we're going to have a sixth region finals for you upcoming. After we do our post-game show, we should have did an over/under on jump balls tonight, Todd. Uh, that was another one, huh? Yes, it was. Go back to Sacred Heart then next time. Oh, nice block there against Ashland James. Are they going to call that a foul? Nope, they're going to call a foul. Yeah. That was Kincaid. Addison Kincaid, Jr. Just checked in the ball game. Yeah, other than the starting freshman point guard of Jordan, they're all they're all been subbed out the starters had. But once again, we talked about smart thing to do for the Valkyries. Manuel picks up full. Still battling. So two free throws there, too, from uh, James. The Crimson are still battling, and the yep. Valkyries are still running. Yep. 
Doesn't matter who's in the line, that beautiful inbounds play. Oh, yeah. Beautiful get, block, though. Even get Jordan, but yeah, wow. James, nice block. Step through, goes to the deck, but will go to line for two. She's some player, Todd. She She's really got a is. heck of a step. She had more than a step. Yeah. She's got the <laughs> shot to go with it. I mean, yep. she can play. Well, she's crafty, too, with the ball. Try to get through those, any any kind of gap you give her. Right. Good with scoop shots. She's got a pretty good arsenal on her. We'll check the official stats later, but I've got uh, James thus far with, uh, with 20. So, oh, missed on that one, though. Ball out of there to uh, Caroline Osting, new in the ballgame, junior, for Sacred Heart. It's uh, Jordan still running the point here. She's, yep. This is a learning learning for Absolutely her. Absolutely for her. As Donna said, you know, she told him in practice the other day, she said, Coach, you know, I might be a freshman, but I played as a seventh acre. I'd never ever even been in any kind of a championship game before. So, you know, it is a new experience for the, for the young ones. Yep. She's a pretty good young one, though. And a travel on Hemery. Winding down, Todd, winding down. Yep. For, for me, anyway. For you, I've got, <laughs> got one more to go. Coach Forrest and I are going to have this uh, sixth region tilt upcoming. Nice All down inside. inside to Wolf. Nice hello. Nice follow and rebound. Kincaid with that. Gets on the board for a couple of points. Spin move. James can't get it to go, but nice to get it up on the James eyeing it, knocks it home. And gets both. She's just a sophomore coach, so she's got a lot of playing to do yet she as sure well. Does. Amy Lee Howe. Working against James. Yeah, had to get close to a five count that time. Holbrook. Oh. Blocked on the three, and then the ball taken away, <laughs> and then taken away again. Knocked around, and finally James ends up with it, but is fouled. Great hustle by both teams. And it's actually, great, great, great sportsmanship Absolutely. there. A couple of Valkyries coming over to help her up. And that wasn't. That wasn't. Uh, that was just one of those mad scramble things. Well, in the third quarter, this one could have went south, but both teams had cool heads, and it all turned out okay. And it's been a good, you know. It's, yeah, it's been a well. Um, uh, what do I want to say here? I'm sorry. It's been just a, a, a classy game played by both teams. Right. Been tough on the Crimson's. They've they've been frustrated because of the way the Valkyries can. Yeah, do it, so many things, but they it, uh, it got very it was it's very physical game. Yeah, it's been yeah. that way the whole game, but then then that that sort of took the took the chance of maybe getting a little chippy in the third. Yeah. But I think the the officials also yeah. officials got it kind of got a hold of it a little bit, and then the coaches sort of got a hold of it to say, "Hey, that's." And you're right; it's been uh, down the stretch has yeah. been very classy. Yeah, yeah, you have a very good officiating crew. Kin Kincaid gets it up on the rim, but couldn't get it to go. Scramble four and uh, Bailey Fletcher Fetcher knocked it out of bounds, so it'll go stay in the hands of the Valkyries. Thirty-one and a half ticks left here, leaving it in. Uh, nicely done, uh, Osting with the bucket.
Now, Coach, I know you're going to want to pack up, but we got to have uh, we got to get our final stats and our most outstanding <laughs> players, folks. He's he's got his car running out there already. I think. I'm not I'm not after running out on since, your time. I promise. <laughs> after being here since uh, about 11 a.m. this morning. Perfect timing for those well, those yeah. two boys semifinal games in the uh, sixth region. No, I wouldn't leave you. I'm only leaving you tonight because I had people coming in hey, from it's Florida. All good. It's all good. I'm, on me. I'm teasing you, Coach. Oh, I know you I right. may not get the chance again until next basketball season. Uh, so. I've really enjoyed spending time with you, Todd. You're fantastic. I really enjoy it. Thank you. Abigail Wolf gets on the scoreboard there with a made free throw. Toucher couldn't get it to go, and uh, that will do it. So... <laughs> Our final from here in the uh, seventh region and the seventh region champions, the Sacred Heart Valkyries winning 78 to uh, 50. And uh, we will step aside when we return. We'll get you into the postgame show and then get, get things uh, set for the uh, sixth region of finals uh, coming up. And that will all be uh, along here shortly on Glycock. Go ahead. Pour it on, as thick as you want to. Holy Smokes Barbecue and Catering. Serving up the tastiest ribs, chicken, brisket, brown sugar sticky wings, mutton and ham. Always served to you fresh and so good, it'll make you say, Holy Smokes! Holy Smokes Barbecue and Catering, 7508 Preston Highway. Holy Smokes! For more than 35 years, online and through our branch office locations, Ruoff Mortgage has helped people discover, finance, and move into their homes with confidence. From the moment you send in an application to the day you get the keys, Ruoff keeps things moving exceptionally fast. By sharing knowledge and professional guidance, Ruoff Mortgage helps people see the potential and excitement in the homeownership experience. Visit one of our convenient branch locations or get started online at Ruoff.com. 1965 male graduate and basketball star George Tensley knows the value of providing quality service. And that's what you get when you dine with Tensley Family Concessions. They provide travelers with many fine choices at Louisville Muhammad Ali International Airport. Whether it's Kentucky Fried Chicken, Chili's, or Starbucks, you know your travel experience will be a more comfortable and convenient one. Learn more about our company by visiting the website tfcfamily.com. New recruit, take advantage of our apprenticeship program. Come out of our four-year course debt-free. With health insurance, a guaranteed pension, a degree, and an electrical license. Three words I'd use to describe the apprenticeship are opportunity, skillful, educational, solid career path. Rewarding, beneficial, and a brotherhood. A life-changing opportunity. The cost of school is free. All your books are paid for. You go to school once every two weeks. All the other stuff is on-the-job training. The teachers here are great. Uh, they're all very, very knowledgeable. They're preparing you for what you're already seeing in the field. If you're struggling with something in school, sometimes your fellow students can help you work through that. Everyone's willing to help each other. It's like a big family. I love being a part of a union, something bigger than myself. This field is so vast. You can find something that you really love to do because there is so much you can do. I went from a job to a, a life-changing career. Power up your potential with the IBEW. Gen Z is a generation. The news says Gen Z is struggling. I've got news for them. I wait tables, but last week I built a field hospital. I put out a forest fire. I stopped a thousand attackers. And a natural disaster. I've saved lives and led a team on patrol. I serve. While I go to school full time. While I work full time. The greater the challenge, the stronger we become. Hey, uh, I didn't order any pizza. Jake from State Farm. After you saved me so much dough on insurance with that Parker promo, I devised a promo for you. Here's the deal, Parker. State Farm offers everyone surprisingly great rates. Right. Pepperoni pockets, cuckoo crusties. There's no promo, it's just great rates. And a cider ranch. For your surprisingly great home and auto rate, call State Farm agent Brian Morrison in Louisville today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. 
Tonight's post-game recap is brought to you by State Farm Insurance Agents Brian Morrison and Mike Shelton. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Back at Valley High School, J.C. Cantrell uh, Gymnasium, Dr. Todd Carter and Coach Mark Evans with you for this 7th Region uh, Championship game where the Sacred Heart Valkyries emerge victorious 78-50. to And want to point out our uh, traditional bank uh, scoreboard, uh, our ticker by uh, traditional bank. Uh, who you bank with matters. And we've got a lot of games either just underway or upcoming. We will try to get you scores on those as the night goes on. Plus, you will see down there uh, some uh, uh, several uh, uh, games uh, that have occurred earlier in the day. Well, uh, Coach, uh, let's look at the, our final statistics and uh, look at tonight's final numbers brought to you by Ruoff Mortgage. Ruoff Mortgage opening doors. Let's uh, do that first, and then we'll give you the most outstanding player. Folks, Coach? Sure, okay, uh, Todd. Uh, you know, it was a dominant performance by the Valkyries from the get-go. Uh, scored a lot of points in the first half and got way up. And let's just look at the specifics. We'll look at the manual, DuPont manual Lady Crimson first. They had a tough night at shooting the basketball in a lot of ways. They were 15 of 50 from the uh, field for 30%. They were only 3 of 17 from the three-point line for 18%. And they shot good from the free throw line. They were 17 of 23 for 74 percent. But I'll flip it over to the Sacred Heart Valkyries and the way they shot. They shoot as well the second half as they did the first, but ended up 26 of 55, 47 percent, five of 13 from the three-point line at 39 percent, and 21 of 31 for 67, six, almost 68 percent from that. Uh, the Valkyries had a domination of the boards. They, were, they had 45 rebounds to the Lady Crimson's 25. They had, the Valkyries had 12 turnovers, and the Crimson's had 17. So, you know, that all adds up to one thing, a dominant performance by the Valkyries. Absolutely, and uh, this big win, the 78 uh, to 50, uh, are a win for the Valkyries. Well, uh, let's, uh, let's go ahead, too, and uh, we will name our most outstanding uh, player of uh, the ball game, or players of the ball game, I should say. Tonight's most outstanding players presented by State Farm Insurance, agent, insurance agents Mike Shelton and Brian Morrison. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Uh, Coach, uh, who are we uh, thinking for those uh, two spots, our most outstanding players? Well, for the... Uh, DuPont Manual Lady Crimson, it, it, it's a no-brainer. Uh, she put on a fantastic performance tonight, Made did, did some spectacular things. I was really impressed with number 13, Ashlyn James. Uh, 6 of 14 from the field against a very tough defense. 5 of 12 from the 2, 1 of 2 from the 3. 10 of 13 from, from the uh, free throw line, which is fantastic. Ended up at 23 points. So she's our player of the game from Manual High School. All right, and uh, for Sacred Heart. Sacred Heart had pretty, pretty balancing scoring from the big three, but just overall performance-wise tonight, it's number 11, Zakiah Johnson. She's a, she's a joy to watch on the court. She was 8 of 14 from the field, uh, ended up 3 of 7 from the three-point line, 2 of 2 from the free-throw line. They ended up with uh, 21 points, 8 rebounds, 6 assists. She just did it all. Absolutely. So those are our most outstanding players presented by State Farm Insurance agent, agents Mike Shelton and Brian Morrison. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Well, uh, let's, uh, let's uh, take a very brief break. We'll come back, and uh, I'll have you put a, just a brief little bow on this one, and then we will uh, sort of sign off for this game and get get set for the next and we will do so quickly because they're going to get get out here and get uh, get warming up quickly no in fact let's go ahead and put a little bow on this okay. one here coach right now yeah, sure. uh, just because I can tell they're going to move this thing along here pretty quick so go ahead yeah definitely uh, you know just a dominant once again dominant performance by the Sacred Heart Valkyries uh, you have to give uh, coach Frank Franklin and her uh for Lady Crimson is a lot of credit, though, because losing five super seniors with great experience and coming back this year, she didn't know what to expect, and heck, they're in the finals of a region. So hats off to them, but, you know, this team so far that I've seen in the state of Kentucky is the Valkyries, and they show why they are pretty much that 
uh, tonight. All right. Well, I think that's going to put the capper on this one. We're going to step aside for a, a brief break. When we come back, I had the chance to, to talk just a little while ago with uh, Staff Sergeant uh, Justin Tennell of the uh, Kentucky Army National Guard, and uh, we are going to bring you that uh, short interview uh, here between these two games, and then we'll get set with uh, Keys to the Game for our second contest uh, coming up between the uh, Bullet East uh, Chargers and the Butler Barrettes. So stay tuned for all that upcoming, that sixth uh, region uh, final uh, on Glycott. Jake from State Farm, I would like to formally extend my gratitude for the Russell rate on my insurance. Do you mean surprisingly great rates from State Farm? I don't believe in accepting help, but I'll make an exception. Here's the deal, Russell. There's no special rate. These prices are for everyone. Consider a square. I made that from memory. I know your face that well. For surprisingly great rates and great service, call State Farm agent Mike Shelton in Louisville today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. UA Local 502 is offering great career opportunities for plumbers, pipe fitters, and HVAC technicians. They're seeking highly skilled and trained workers with or without experience. Incentives include debt-free education, employer-funded benefits, apprenticeship that comes with employment, and high starting wages. If you're ready to accelerate your career or just want a fresh start, UA Local 502 could be for you. Contact them at 502-361-8492. UA Local 502. We do it right the first time. Tradition means values, and we want a banker who has the same philosophy. Traditional Bank is a Kentucky-based business, and that does mean a lot to a business that is based in Kentucky. They know what we're going through. They are always there for us, and that means more than anything else. My name is Allison. I choose Traditional Bank because of the personal service. Paddle on into Canoe, Kentucky. When you're buying or selling a new home and you want to do it with few hassles, count on Polo Real Estate Group. Founded and owned by 1993 Mail High graduate Dion Reese, Polo Real Estate has over two decades of experience and offers skillful consultation and representation for your sale or purchase. If you're a new or experienced agent and you would like to join Polo Real Estate, contact them at 502-702-7656. Polo Real Estate Group, a realtor you can trust. The news says Gen Z is struggling. I've got news for them. I wait tables. But last week, I built a field hospital. I put out a forest fire. I stopped a thousand attackers. And a natural disaster. I've saved lives. And led a team on patrol. I serve. While I go to school full time. While I work full time. The greater the challenge, the stronger we become. 1965 male graduate and basketball star George Tensley knows the value of providing quality service. And that's what you get when you dine with Tensley Family Concessions. They provide travelers with many fine choices at Louisville Muhammad Ali International Airport. Whether it's Kentucky Fried Chicken, Chili's, or Starbucks, you know your travel experience will be a more comfortable and convenient one. Learn more about our company by visiting the website tfcfamily.com. Blind Select, not just blind. Blind Select, not just blind. You're watching the 7th Region Basketball Tournament on Glycod. As we are between the games here, the seventh region championship over the sixth region championship yet to go here on Glycod. This is Dr. Todd Carter, and I'm alongside Staff Sergeant uh, Till of the uh, Kentucky National Guard, and we've got a few questions for you, uh, Sergeant. Uh, so great of you to be out here uh, recruiting. Uh, so uh, briefly explain, uh, what is the Kentucky National Guard? So the Kentucky National Guard uh, works with the state of Kentucky and federal. Uh, if we have issues like we did a couple years ago with the tornadoes in western Kentucky, we'd be uh, tasked out to go help clean up and assist people getting 
medical supplies or food or whatever they need. Uh, I was part of an ice storm cleanup not too long after the tornadoes. Uh, so that's a big part of our mission. We also do uh, federal missions, of course, deploying overseas and taking part in all that. So it's kind of a double task, uh, kind of versatile mission set that we have. Well, uh, what, uh, uh, why, I guess, would be a better question. But, you know, why did you join the, uh, the Kentucky uh, National Guard? Yeah, so all my family uh, basically have been in the military, my grandpa and my dad and a bunch of family. So I kind of wanted to carry on that tradition. Uh, also, for the benefits, uh, the Guard has a lot of great benefits. College, uh, they pay up to 60000 in college benefits. Uh, your TRICARE for health care. Of course, young kids don't think much about health care, but it's 45 a month for a single person. Um, and just all the benefits you have, you know, outside of that, we could keep going on. Um, and just to be proud, you know, to serve and be part of the community. Uh, just really enjoy people, you know, shaking your hand, everybody smiling face, you know, when they come up and want to thank you for your service. That's, you know, something I didn't even realize when I went in. Uh, that's been pretty nice too. What uh, what do you do uh, in the in the Kentucky National Guard? Now you also you already talked about uh, emergency response or disaster response. What other, other sorts of things do you do in the guard? Yeah, so the guard has all kinds of different jobs. People don't even realize. Uh, so right now I'm doing the recruiting, uh, working with that. Uh, my primary job is imager analyst, so I analyze images from satellites. Uh, there's just tons of jobs. I've been a drone pilot at one point. So the sky's kind of the limit as far as jobs, you know, depending on what you want to do. Well, and how do you think that's impacted uh, uh, you uh, and uh, the, as an individual and, and especially maybe as somebody who's maybe going to be a current student uh, in college, that sort of thing? How, what kind of impact does that have on you individually? Yeah, so, I mean, individuals, especially in school right now, uh, when they're looking at what they're going to do after high school, uh, it's – for me personally, it's opened up a lot of doors to go a lot of different places and kind of be where I'm at today. But for people who are undecided on college, how they're going to fund college, you know, things like that, uh, it's just a really good option to look at and check all the boxes before you decide, you know, do I want to come out of school with a hundred thousand dollars in school yeah. student debt, you know? So that's a big part of it. Well, and so how do uh, people who might be listening this, watching watching this broadcast, uh, who might be interested, how do they uh, reach out and uh, contact the uh, Kentucky National Guard? So Louisville has several different offices that do it. Uh, the best way would probably just get on KentuckyNationalGuard.com. Uh, we have Jefferson Mall location where probably a lot of people that are listening to this either went to or their parents, whatever. Uh, Bowman Field is another one where there's some recruiting. But KentuckyNationalGuard.com, and when you put in your information or your zip code, it will populate a recruiter that's in that area for you. All right. Thank you so much for your service, and thank you for coming and talk to us uh, between these ball games today. I appreciate it. Thank you very much for the opportunity. All right, Staff Sergeant Tennell of the uh, Kentucky National Guard. The news says Gen Z is struggling. I've got news for them. I wait tables, but last week I built a field hospital. I put out a forest fire. I stopped a thousand attackers. And a natural disaster. I've saved lives and led a team on patrol. I serve. While I go to school full time. While I work full time. The greater the challenge, the stronger we become. Go ahead, pour it on, as thick as you want to. Holy Smokes Barbecue and Catering. Serving up the tastiest ribs, chicken, brisket, brown sugar sticky wings, mutton and ham, Always served to you fresh and so good, it'll make you say, Holy Smokes! Holy Smokes Barbecue and Catering, 7508 Preston Highway. Holy Smokes! 
For more than 35 years, online and through our branch office locations, Ruoff Mortgage has helped people discover, finance, and move into their homes with confidence. From the moment you send in an application to the day you get the keys, Ruoff keeps things moving exceptionally fast. By sharing knowledge and professional guidance, Ruoff Mortgage helps people see the potential and excitement in the homeownership experience. Visit one of our convenient branch locations or get started online at Ruoff.com. I didn't order any pizza. Jake from State Farm. After you saved me so much dough on insurance with that Parker promo, I devised a promo for you. Here's the deal, Parker. State Farm offers everyone surprisingly great rates. Right. Pepperoni pockets. Cuckoo crusties. There's no promo. It's just great rates. And a cider ranch. For surprisingly great rates and great service, call State Farm agent Mike Shelton in Louisville today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. New recruit, take advantage of our apprenticeship program. Come out of our four-year course debt-free. With health insurance, a guaranteed pension, a degree, and an electrical license. The words I'd use to describe the apprenticeship are opportunity, skillful, educational, solid career path. Rewarding, beneficial, and a brotherhood. A life-changing opportunity. The cost of school is free. All your books are paid for. You go to school once every two weeks. All the other stuff is on-the-job training. The teachers here are great. Uh, they're all very, very knowledgeable. They're preparing you for what you're already seeing in the field. If you're struggling with something in school, sometimes your fellow students can help you work through that. Everyone's willing to help each other. It's like a big family. I love being a part of a union, something bigger than myself. This field is so vast. You can find something that you really love to do because there is so much you can do. I went from a job to a, a life-changing career. Power up your potential with the IBEW. You're watching the 7th Region Basketball Tournament on Glycod. Okay. And we are back for the 6th uh, Region uh, Championship here. Dr. Todd Carter, Gary Forrest now in the analyst uh, chair. And uh, for with along with that comes uh, time uh, to talk about keys to the game. Uh, keys to the game brought to you by IBEW Local 369. IBEW, power up your potential. And uh, coach, let's uh, first go with the uh, Butler Barretts. Your keys for the Barretts. All right, if you will, uh, the first key that. You know, every coach looks at when you look at your opponents is how many of them play. And right. This Barrett team is very deep. They're going to play anywhere from eight to nine players. And, you know, that helps you both offensively and defensively. Sometimes people overlook the defensive part, but, you know, you've got bodies to throw in there and such. They're going to play nine people, and they're going to push it. They want an up-tempo transition. And what they want to do is they want to get into their opponent's legs. And tonight's opponents... The uh, Bullet East Chargers, you know, they're going to have to withstand that. They've got great size. They can go big, and they can go small. So anytime you have depth, it gives you a lot of different things that you can do. Okay, they're very active. You know, I mean, defensively, they're getting hands on balls. Uh, they push the break. They will score off a of defensive transition. And not only will they score inside, they will score outside. They shoot the threes well. They're a very good team. And if that's not enough for Bullet East to have to be thinking about, they've also played Bullet East twice this year and in both times defeated them handily. So the keys for the game for Butler have a change probably from the first time and the <laughs> right. second time they played them. Okay, so that's the... Uh Butler Barretts, and as we get that graphic off, let's talk about the uh, Bullet East Chargers wearing the uh, home white uniforms under their shooting jerseys and uh, for the Bullet East Chargers, Coach. Well, Chris Stalin's been there a long time. I've yep. known Chris for a long time. He's done a really good job. That's been a basketball hotbed since girls basketball inception back at the high school level here in, you know, in the 80s. So uh, there is a couple of things that we'll probably have to stress the most. If two different teams could not be mirror opposites as they are. The Chargers don't have that depth that they're going to face with Butler. 
So they're going to have to be smart. They're going to have to pace their offensive style of play and their defensive style of play to stay fresh and do things that they're capable of doing. That means slow down the tempo of the game. And when you slow down the tempo of the game, you have to handle the ball. So you want to limit your turnovers if you're Bullet East to stay within striking range, give yourself a chance to win. It's tough sometimes to beat a team three times because familiarity. Yep. And, you know, what you have to be careful of if you're the Butler coach is that your kids are overconfident. And they've listened to all these people say, oh, man, you got it made. You're in the place. You beat these guys before and stuff. And then they buy into that stuff. So, you know, one of Coach Stalling's jobs is, you know, he's got to sell his kids. We got them right where we want them. Okay. And, you know, hopefully their kids can do such a thing. Been down that road myself years ago. <laughs> yep. And won a regional, losing the three teams that we played. We turned around into regional play and defeated each of the three. So it's capable. You just have to be a good car salesman to get your kids to <laughs> get buy in. Get everybody buy in. Very much so. Get all those oars moving in the same direction. Well, you know what? We're going to step away, uh, catch uh, our break, and uh, go ahead and do our open week. When we come back, we'll get you the starting lineups for this uh, sixth region j- championship ball game uh, tonight from Valley High School on Glycott. One second here, folks. Minor technical difficulty. As I am not able to uh, play my spot, maybe now I can. Still can't. Well, folks, we're going to go ahead and give you the starting lineups while I try to figure out what's going on with my... uh, So we're going to give those to you, and then I'm going to try to get this figured out so we can get our, uh, our... plugs in our sponsors in we're going to go ahead and give you the uh, starting lineups uh, first for the uh, Butler Barretts uh, Emery Gober a uh, 5'3 uh, senior uh, Keziah Bradley a 5'4 uh, uh, senior as well uh, Anisha Russell a uh, 4'9 junior Mariah Knight, a 5'7 senior, and Ramia White, a 6'3 senior. Then let's look at uh, the Bullet East Chargers, Lady Chargers, Anna Tanelli, a uh, 5'8 sophomore, averaging 12.6 a game. Uh, senior uh, Anna Rogers, a 5'10 uh, senior. Kylie Huber, a 5'9 uh, senior. Uh, averaging 2.1 points a game. Molly Johnston, a 5'5", five, five, uh, five, five sophomore. And Lila Packer, a 6'1", uh, uh, freshman, I do believe that is. Coach, I'm going to have you comment on those for a minute. And although we might go straight to our starting lineups here, I'm going to need you to comment for a minute because i got to concentrate on what I'm doing, trying to get our spots working again. Will do. We'll, uh, we'll stay with the Bullet East Chargers right now. And as you've mentioned, the starters, you know, four of the five starters will shoot threes. So basically you're playing an open post offense. Your post player is, is a young freshman. And four Bullet East to be successful, as we mentioned earlier, want to limit turnovers and at the same time be patient on offense. They're going to have to make some threes. Their team is built. They've always been a team that shot a lot of threes, but they're going to have to make threes to be in this game. You know, and there's no hurry. So, you know, cut down your turnovers, run a patient offense, and stay within this. And then maybe you sneak up on the Bears a little bit, catch them a little bit, overlooking you because they've beaten you twice already. All right. Well, as the, again, the, the Bullet East Chargers are going to be introduced on the court. This does give us a, an opportunity to step away and catch our opening, uh, opening and uh, pregame, and we'll, we'll, we will do that. We'll be back with uh, ball game here, the sixth region championship live on Glycott. 
UA Local 502 is offering great career opportunities for plumbers, pipe fitters, and HVAC technicians. They're seeking highly skilled and trained workers with or without experience. Incentives include debt-free education, employer-funded benefits, apprenticeship that comes with employment, and high starting wages. If you're ready to accelerate your career or just want a fresh start, UA Local 502 could be for you. Contact them at 502-361-8492. UA Local 502. We do it right the first time. Glycod's coverage of the 6th Region Basketball Tournament starts now. Tonight's game is brought to you by UA Local 502. Built on excellence, building a better tomorrow. Tinsley Family Concessions, commitment to quality. Polo Real Estate Group, a realtor you can trust. State Farm Insurance Agents Brian Morrison and Mike Shelton. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Blunt Dental Group, straightforward smiles. Allstate Insurance Agent Thomas Allen, he puts you in good hands. Thomas Car Wash and Holy Smokes Barbecue. Now, courtside for all the action from Glycon. As we return for the uh, sixth region uh, championship ball game here this evening. And we are about set for live action. Ty Carter, Gary Forrest, Max Gorley, our camera operator, executive producer, Steve Bird, and ball taken away right there. That's Anna Tonelli. Was very impressed with her game uh, on Thursday night. Foul comes. I think that's going to be against Gober. Let's see. It is. So Gober with her first. Emory, the senior. Anyway, Coach, uh, very impressed by uh, ooh, how uh, Tonelli played early. A couple of, a couple of attempts there. Boy, they got a couple good point bank looks. Just couldn't make it happen. Very much so. You know, they're over three, but uh, every shot's been within three feet of the basket. Gobert. Oh, nice. Nice floater there. The Bullet East back 2-3, so they're going to be very concerned about the size of this Butler bunch. Once again, Bullet East into the paint. And then the ball ripped away. Jump ball. So Bullet East will have the possession this time. Next time it'll go to Butler. That's Johnston with it. Ball tipped around and away there. Ramia White. Big 6-3, lanky frame. White started her career out as a freshman over at uh, Mercy Academy. But uh, now as a butler, has continued to improve. Double-figure average on offense. So Kylie Huber whistled for the foul there, her first. Ball triggered in. Side to White. Finds the cutter there in Russell, gets it back, and is fouled. Well, i tell you, White's a load. She's a big girl, and right now, Butler taking it to her on this offensive possession. She's the center of the offensive attraction down on the block. Good-looking stroke. Knocks home that first at 62% free throw shooter is the 6'3 senior. Oh, they cha actually changed the foul. It's against 44, he said. The man in the striped shirt saying that. Butler back, half court, man to man. Bolides thus far having trouble getting anything going. 
Johnston picked up her dribble. Leaves it out there. That's Tonelli. Drives the lane. Gets fouled. Little out of control there, but she got the ball up to the rim and was, was hacked for trouble. Mariah Knight whistled for that uh, foul. No, I'm sorry. Hmm. 33-0. Oh, they took a f the foul away from uh, 33. That's why they have that up there on the yep. scoreboard. And so, uh, two uh, made free throws by Tonelli. And Butler. Looking to score again. A three from the corner by Mariah Knight. Big bucket there. Knight leading score for the Lady Bears. And then takes it away, does Knight. Also impressed with her game the other, other night on Thursday as well. Oh, three. Halfway down and pops back out. Another good Bradley. look at that three by the Lady Bears against... Bullet East is changing defenses. They're going from 1-3-1 one, one zone to man-to-man, -to -man, so they're trying to keep the Lady Bears on their toes defensively. Uh, and then the reach-in foul as Tonelli was trying to drive the lane. That's going to go against Russell. Anisha Russell should be her first. You know, right now, East has done a great job of getting the ball in the paint each of their five possessions. That's left out for Packer. Can't get it to fall. And I say that, Packer shoots the three. <laughs> and then, unfortunately, that ball hit White just, just in the side, and she couldn't get her, her body turned around enough to control it and trapped it between the elbow. I tell you what, though, great job of looking for right? White. Yeah, she's a sure big was. gal, and she's out front of the pass. And uh, if, if that ball had been thrown a foot further to her left, yep. that was a catch and a step and a shot. And we've got a whistle. That's going to go against... Uh, Patrick, her first. Well, four fouls already Quickly. against yeah. Butler. Four out of five times down the floor, they've made fouls. Johnston steps back and can't get that one to go, but Packer tips the ball to herself, seals, and gets that board. Coach Stallings trying to get them to change offensive sets right now. Johnston in the corner. Butler back man-to-man. -man. Xander thought about it, takes it inside, couldn't get it to go. And then the made bucket there. And that's Rodgers with that. Right now, Butler, four rebounds, so very aggressive on their offensive boards. And then from distance there was Patrick. Couldn't get it to fall. Well, another foul against another Butler. Foul. Yep, and so that will send uh, East to the line the rest of the way here in this quarter. 418. So see if uh, Bullet East can maybe make some hay from the free throw line. Four minutes already into the first quarter, and East on the line, as you say, five possessions. They've been fouled on four of them. Tonelli knocking home her first there. Butler constantly using players. We said they had a deep bench, and already in this first quarter, they proved that they played eight players now. Oh, that one finally rolls in. Tonelli so, with a kind bounce. It sure was. That's, a, <laughs> that's, that's more than a shooter's roll. That's, uh, that's, a, that's a really kind roll. Oh, nice look there and in for a Nice that. give and go by Brady. And Robinson finishes that one. Amari Robinson, senior for Butler. Tonelli, she's going to shoot the three. Money. Tie ball game. Now both teams 
Neither team looked like they want to slow things down. We kind of thought coming into this thing, Bullet East would slow it down, but they've not shown that inclination right now. Oh, nice extra pass there. Knights gets well, the three ball. Knight, leading score, got a great looking stroke. Second three already. And then Tonelli takes it inside. Boy, that was halfway down, popped out. Ends up off the hands of, uh, I think it was Patrick in there. Butler playing lots of players. It's a constant whirlwind here at the scorer's desk. Almost every possession, a new one checking in and out. Michaela Alexander in for Gober. And Johnston loses the handle. Gets it to Tonelli off the deflection. And Tonelli will shoot the long three. That one was deep, at least three feet beyond the arc. Yep, and hard off the back iron creates a long rebound into the Butler student section over there. So Butler up by three. Chance to extend here. Bradley. Working against Tonelli, who's tenacious. Into traffic, whistle comes. And it's going to be on the floor. And that one's going against Packer, her first. Three team fouls now for East. Bradley. Oh, finds finds White, but she didn't know it was coming. I'm not sure White was ready for that pass. <laughs> she wasn't. She was uh, given instructions or getting instructions. I'm not sure which. The ball nearly knocked away, but White gets it up and gets fouled. Well, they're going to have to decide how they're going to play White. They're trying to play her straight up man to man, but because of her size, you know, if they get stuck behind her, she's an easy target. If you get stuck on a high side, she's just going to pin you with her body and they're going to throw over. Yep. So right now, east has got to figure out how they want to play her. I almost think they're better off just playing straight behind her where if she does shoot it, you have inside box out position. So for my white, gets one of two. Packer down with the board. Quickly ahead, running the floor nicely was uh, Rogers. Couldn't get it to go, and then Butler ends up with it. Man, point blank miss. Russell going the other way. Russell really pushing the tempo. So crowded there, gets it to White. Finally finds the open shooter, Robinson. That one won't fall, and then a scramble for the board and a whistle. I think that's going to go against Johnston, I believe. Nope. Tonelli whistle. I need to I need to quit guessing. <laughs> so both teams now in the bonus. As Alexander, Mikhail Alexander, on a 65% free throw shooter, knocks home the first. Going to have another attempt here. Swishes both. Gets on the scoreboard there. Lady Barrett's back straight man to man on the half. Johnston, again in the corner, Alexander, a little too much body there. Well, Alexander guilty of the proverbial bad foul. The bad foul is when you foul somebody 25 feet out on the floor who's not even looking to shoot the ball. And a 71% free throw shooter. 
So what it didn't she, look like there. So what does she do? She, <laughs> she steps makes, up there and misses the first one. Makes, makes liars out of both of us, yep. doesn't she? Yep. Gets the second, though. Butler watched again. Oh, inbounds it and look to push it down. Bullet East set now with two. Squeezing in and helping open post until White finally gets to the middle. I'd like to see what the quarter stats look like, but uh, I had Johnson. That's, that was her. That made free throw as her first point, and uh, usually averages about 13. So she, they, they've held her down well. Have the Barretts. Alexander finds White. Ball swings into the corner. That one won't go. Comes off to East. Tonelli looking at this defense. Now reverses it. Rogers for three. Won't fall. Ball out of bounds to uh, the ladies in White. Scott checks into the ball game. Kennedy Scott checks in for the Bullet East Chargers, as does Mariah Knight. Knight already with two threes this quarter, so Lady Chargers better locate and identify her. Ball inbounds to Johnson, but immediately tied up by Russell, and they're going to call it a uh, held ball. Well, we talked about early pregame keys. One of the things Bullet East doesn't want to be guilty of is a lot of turnovers. And down five, you just can't give away opportunities. Ball in the corner, and that one won't go. Johnson grabs it, and nobody stops her, so she just comes to the other end and gets pushed there with the body. She was just going to go until somebody stopped her. And it's going to go against uh, Ramia White. Her first. So Johnson back to the line. Chargers trailing by five. Knocks home the first. Canelli getting a break here. She's gone the entire first quarter. At about uh, 98 miles an hour. <laughs> right. Good way to get an extra little yep. breather. Second free throw does not go. Ramia White pulls it down. But a four-point ball game with Butner, Butler now having the opportunity to maybe try to extend as the quarter comes to a close. Ball to White. Oh, nice extra pass. Boy, we'll excellent try for pass. It. Yeah. You know, for a big person inside... Knight really has a very good vision of her teammates on the floor, and if somebody's open, she gets them the ball. And maybe partially blocked there, but White comes Man. down with it, and in traffic, foul. So that ball into Mariah Knight. She missed on the first, and Aubrey Packer commits her second foul and will send Ramil White to well, the line. Big body, but soft hands and good vision. Would sum up Knight. Uh, a little streaky at the line, but she's very much aware of where her teammates are, particularly on the offensive end. If you're Bullet East, the way you're going to have to attack her is on the defensive end and her lateral quickness. So, White makes one of two. Got her with four here in the early going. Down to the other end comes Tonelli. She was blocked. And they're going to say that is the end of the first quarter. So at the end of one, we've got uh, Butler 16, Bullet East 11. Let's step aside. We'll be back with second quarter action upcoming on Glycock. The news says Gen Z is struggling. I've got news for them. I wait tables. But last week, I built a field hospital. I put out a forest fire. I stopped a thousand attackers. And a natural disaster. I've saved lives. And led a team on patrol. I serve. While I go to school full time. While I work full time. 
greater the challenge, the stronger we become. You're watching the 6th Region Basketball Tournament on Glycod. As we return to a second quarter action here, just being handed some pages of stats from uh, Bob Tanini here at this 6th Region Championship. Dr. Todd Carter and Coach Gary Forrest on the call of this one. Knight uh, leading all leading the uh, Bears in scoring with six. And Tonelli has seven on the opposite side. I'm double checking my unofficial scoring. I think I had that right. So anything jump out uh, on the off the stats page for you, Gary? 12 six rebounds by Butler. That's mm, not a yep. surprise. They right. use that size advantage. Yep, 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 yep. Can't yeah, can't can't say that that's a surprise at all. So Butler right back out, half court, man to man. Tanini. Couple of out front, switching on the guards. Johnston, oh, inside. And that was Packer, couldn't get it to go. And once again, Packer misses point blank. Bradley gives it to Knight. She's going to shoot the three. Maya can't get it to go. And then ball volleyballed, volleyballed, volleyballed into the hands of Mariah Knight. It won't go. And then finally out to Tonelli. Nice drive there, foul. Well, there's a case we just talked about, Todd. You've got to make White move laterally. And they got her to move laterally, and instead of jumping straight up, she's jumping into. outward, and she right into the shooter. So Anna Rogers gets the free tosses, makes the first. And that's the second foul on Ramiah White. So they lose White, which she, is a big size factor now. Inside, yep. Russell tracks that board down for Butler. So just about a minute gone here in this second quarter. Four-point lead for Butler. They've led the whole way thus far. Nice drive inside by Robinson, but she couldn't contact. make it happen. Yeah. Nope. Tonelli. High 1-4 screen, trying to open up the post area right now. Bullet East a little more patient on offense. Scoop shot won't go, but the follow, oh, it won't go either. Rodgers had a nice look at the putback, but it wouldn't fall. So it's Anisha Russell uh, running the point out there. And we've got a foul before the shot by Mariah Knight. And that's going to go uh, against the uh, Amari Robinson from the Bearettes. Run a little stack offense down on the block. And the Lady Bears had a moving screen trying to free Knight up for that jumper. And uh, the official right on top of things. Over checks in the ball game for Butler. One four set. They'll screen down, screen away. Oh, good hands there by Knight to uh, knock it away from Rodgers. Should have went bounce pass entry. He tried to go over top, and the defense was ready. Kick to Gober in the corner. She arches in the three. Gober had her hands and feet set. And Coach Stallings with a quick timeout. This thing's starting to slip a little bit. Well, timeout on the floor, so we will take a timeout as well. More second quarter upcoming here on Glycock. For more than 35 years, online and through our branch office locations, Ruoff Mortgage has helped people discover, finance, and move into their homes with confidence. From the moment you send in an application to the day you get the keys, Ruoff keeps things moving exceptionally fast. By sharing knowledge and professional guidance, 
Ruoff Mortgage helps people see the potential and excitement in the homeownership experience. Visit one of our convenient branch locations or get started online at Ruoff.com. You're watching the 6th Region Basketball Tournament on Glycod. Back to play. Back to play. 540 in the uh, second quarter. Butler on a man-to-man doing a great job defensively on the wings, but once again, foul. the only thing they come up with is a foul. Denisha Russell with her second, I believe. Yep. So third foul here, a minute into the second quarter. So Butler not taking off the gas whatsoever defensively, and they're really making it tough for Bullitt to make that wing entry pass. Anaya Haskins checks in the ball game, number one for Butler. Back in the ball game, I should say. She's been in off and on. Tonelli, ooh. Took a nasty looking slide there, and I hope she's all right. She seems to be. Down to the other end, Bradley can't get the shot to go. Knight pulls it down, back up, and it goes through. I like Knight, man. She's smart. She's got a great basketball sense about her. And then a foul underneath, offensive. And that's going to go against Rogers. Let's show you that. Play by Knight on the other end here. Yeah. Markayla Alexander, great job setting up off the ball, taking the charge. Bullet East back 1 3 1, still trying to find the defense that fits them the best. And this one, as you said, beginning to slip away from uh, Coach Stallings and, and Bullet East here in this second quarter. Gober steps in, hits the runner. Wow. Well, I think Coach Stallings heard you. Yep, he's got to take another timeout. Going to talk it over, so we will take a timeout as well. So we will be back with more here on Glycock. UA Local 502 is offering great career opportunities for plumbers, pipe fitters, and HVAC technicians. They're seeking highly skilled and trained workers with or without experience. Incentives include debt-free education, employer-funded benefits, apprenticeship that comes with employment, and high starting wages. If you're ready to accelerate your career or just want a fresh start, UA Local 502 could be for you. Contact them at 502-361-8492. UA Local 502. We do it right the first time. You're watching the 6th Region Basketball Tournament on Glycod. As we return, 23-12, 445 left second quarter. And uh, Coach Forrest and I were talking off the air just about how well that these uh, Butler Barretts, uh, they, they move the ball and are, are patient but quickly patient, and well, they really move the ball around well. They're fun to watch, and one thing I enjoy watching are teams that their players understand their roles to their team. And don't try to do things that they're not, nope. yeah, <laughs> not supposed to do. As, as we speak, big and, steal. Yep, Gilbert with the steal. She's going to go to the other end, gets in deep underneath, and gets it to go. That's a big boost for the Bears. Gobert's turned on here this th second quarter. She's got nine now. Rogers with the three. Well, the Char Lady Chargers needed that first points of the quarter. Sure did. And then the tie-up. And that's going to go against Lila Packer. Well, Knight. Has assumed the place of the center now. She's much more active because of her size. And if you let her get the ball in the paint, she's going to cause problems. Shoots the ball really well. Nice touch. Back in the night. And this time she's fouled by yep. Kylie Huber. So Chargers switched up defenders on her, but second, same result. Three fouls, both, both teams with 402 remaining. So still a couple to go here before the bonus. Nicely done there by Bradley. Bradley puts it up and in. Bradley 
Makes an easy shot, a tough one. She shot him on the left hand with the right hand. Johnston in tight, can't get it to go. Four straight buckets for the Lady Barretts. Crossover, taking it inside, trying to get it thrown up towards the rim, but out of bounds instead, and Nia Haskins. Nope, they're going to say it was knocked away. Scott checks in as Huber goes to the sideline. You know, Todd, right now, Bullet East having a hard time manufacturing any offense whatsoever. No ball poked away. Still live ball. Still live ball, finally. Talk, Talk about the proverbial hot potato. Ahead to Tonelli. Oh, she hit the side of the backboard. Couldn't get a good shot attempt. And now Bradley's. No, she slows it up now. I thought she was going to want to really run. Oh, nice pass. Nice pass. Exactly. They find Robinson down underneath. That foul is going to go against Scott. And we'll send Amari Robinson just a 46% free throw shooter to the line, although knocks home that first. Don't tell her. She looked pretty good with that yeah. stroke. As the lead begins to balloon. Well, one of the things we talked about is our keys to the game was the offensive transition. And right now, Butler in this second quarter, everything they're getting is on the break. Yep. Well, nothing is coming easily for Bullet East no. in the half court. Nothing at all. And a travel. Turnover number six for the Lady Chargers here in the midway through the second quarter. Because Keziah Bradley will bring it across timeline. Bullet East back to a 2-3. Like we said, changing defenses. Robinson misses, but Guess Knight who? follows. Knight right there on Johnny on the spot. I've got her on officially with 10. I just got a good head and knack for the ball. Tonelli gets the ball up and on the rim. Couldn't get it to fall, but will go to the line. Alexander commits the foul. Well, that one takes uh, quite a bounce to go in, but it does go in. And Tonelli knocking home both of those free tosses. Well, at East back 2-3, really trying to pack it in. Oh, nice, a nice give and go to Bradley there. Ball saved, and... Finally, up and in by Robinson. That's six straight made baskets by the Lady Barretts. Johnson thought about the three. Well, ball reverses. And it's Scott with a long bomb, but doesn't go. Ahead quickly, and a foul. Great job by Butler using transition basketball to get the ball down the sides and get fouled quickly. So Kennedy Scott with the foul and that sends Kazai Bradley to the line. Off the heel on the first. Now, admittedly, I had to put this in here uh, in a very small print, but I think I think I've got. She's a 39% free throw shooter and makes one of two. But if that's not right, that's uh, that's on me. That's not on uh, statistician extraordinaire Steve Bird. Lady Bears back defensively, lots of pressure and. Haskins in there fighting for it. We got a jump ball situation. What call? You can't let the player roll over with the ball. Either way, Butler gets the ball on possession. But when you roll over, it's usually called a walk. So in essence, Butler lost the possession even though they gained the ball. 
Gonna look inside for Knight. Posts it up now. Finds Robinson instead. She throws out of it to Haskins. Trying to find Robinson back, but stepping in there was Bryant. And then foul or out of bounds? Foul, I believe. I think we got a foul. Yep. It's going to go with Gilbert. Her second. And that will send Carly Bryant to the line. So the junior steps up, eyes it, and can't get that one to go. The uh, Bullet East Chargers as a team, not a great, uh, not a great free throw shooting team, just 56 percent. We saw some of that the other night in that game against Ouch. North Bullet. Welcome. Barrett's only 62 percent, but uh, that's the sort of thing that can certainly add up over the course of a game. One of two from Carly Bryant. Back to the 2-3, Bullet East. Butler doing a great job. Yep, got her on a walk then. Yeah, yep, because I Bradley just uh, just got moving a little too quick for her thought process. Well, just get ready to compliment yeah. Bradley. She's, she's done a great yep. job on ball reversals, and uh, she decided to change her mind in the middle of her pass, and that's never a good thing. We've got a timeout on the floor. So with the timeout on the floor, we will take a timeout as well. More second quarter upcoming uh, here in just a bit on Glycock. UA Local 502 is offering great career opportunities for plumbers, pipe fitters, and HVAC technicians. They're seeking highly skilled and trained workers with or without experience. Incentives include debt-free education, employer-funded benefits, apprenticeship that comes with employment, and high starting wages. If you're ready to accelerate your career or just want a fresh start, UA Local 502 could be for you. Contact them at 502-361-8492. UA Local 502. We do it right the first time. You're watching the 6th Region Basketball Tournament on Glycod. Just 67 ticks left on the clock here in this second period of play. Uh, this one's been pretty much all Butler from the get-go. It was a little bit of a slow start, but uh, Butler just has continued to just balloon the lead slowly but surely. And Bullet East thus far not able to uh, come up with a reliable answer. Tonelli gets it up there, couldn't get it to go. And then Johnston, one follow, two follows, neither would go. And finally Robinson hauls it down for Butler. Knight with it inside. She was grabbed on the arm. That's a pretty easy call. So Scott whistled for her third. And Mariah Knight knocks home the first. Eighty four percent free throw shooter is Knight. Got a nice stroke. She sure does. Got a good bounce there. Nice, nice solid there. Yeah. player. Well, as you said, leading, leading scorer and rebounder as well for these Barretts. Whoa, long bomb there by Rogers. Wouldn't go and save, but back into the hands of Robinson, who's off to the races. Oh, couldn't get it to go. Tips the ball back to herself for the reset. Into the corner, that's Bradley, short iron. Ball's going to come back the way of Bullet East. These Bears are impressive. They've, they, uh, they really fly around, but always seemingly, nearly always in control. Five seconds left. Nelly. Spin move, gets the ball up, and does not get the foul. So that ends the second quarter of play, and our halftime score, 
is uh, the Butler Barretts, 35, the Bullet East Chargers, 18. Uh, let's step aside. We'll come back with the halftime show here on Glycock. The Holy Smokes Barbecue. At Holy Smokes Barbecue, our pitmaster smoke up mouth watering ribs, chicken, brisket, mutton, and more. From sandwiches to full dinners, with a complete list of sides and desserts. Holy Smokes Barbecue. Just tell them that the man in the big white hat sent you. Order up. How's the pork chop taste? It's pretty good. It's the best one I've ever had. Holy Smokes Barbecue. Tell them the man in the big white hat sent you. When you're buying or selling a new home and you want to do it with few hassles, count on Polo Real Estate Group. Founded and owned by 1993 male high graduate Dion Reese, Polo Real Estate has over two decades of experience and offers skillful consultation and representation for your sale or purchase. If you're a new or experienced agent and you would like to join Polo Real Estate, contact them at 502-702-7656. Polo Real Estate Group, a realtor you can trust. New recruit, take advantage of our apprenticeship program. Come out of our four-year course debt-free. With health insurance, a guaranteed pension, a degree, and an electrical license. Three words I'd use to describe the apprenticeship are opportunity, skillful, educational, solid career path. Rewarding, beneficial, and a brotherhood. A life-changing opportunity. The cost of school is free. All your books are paid for. You go to school once every two weeks. All the other stuff is on-the-job training. The teachers here are great. Uh, they're all very, very knowledgeable. They're preparing you for what you're already seeing in the field. If you're struggling with something in school, sometimes your fellow students can help you work through that. Everyone's willing to help each other. It's like a big family. I love being a part of a union, something bigger than myself. This field is so vast. You can find something that you really love to do because there is so much you can do. With it. I went from a job to a, a life-changing career. Power up your potential with the IBEW. For more than 35 years, online and through our branch office locations, Ruoff Mortgage has helped people discover, finance, and move into their homes with confidence. From the moment you send in an application to the day you get the keys, Ruoff keeps things moving exceptionally fast. By sharing knowledge and professional guidance, Ruoff Mortgage helps people see the potential and excitement in the homeownership experience. Visit one of our convenient branch locations or get started online at Ruoff.com. The news says Gen Z is struggling. I've got news for them. I wait tables. But last week, I built a field hospital. I put out a forest fire. I stopped a thousand attackers. And a natural disaster. I've saved lives. And led a team on patrol. I serve. While I go to school full time. While I work full time. The greater the challenge, the stronger we become. 1965 male graduate and basketball star George Tensley knows the value of providing quality service. And that's what you get when you dine with Tensley Family Concessions. They provide travelers with many fine choices at Louisville Muhammad Ali International Airport. Whether it's Kentucky Fried Chicken, Chili's, or Starbucks, you know your travel experience will be a more comfortable and convenient one. Learn more about our company by visiting the website tfcfamily.com. Tonight's Halftime Report is brought to you by Tinsley Family Concessions, a tradition of corporate excellence and community service. For more, visit tfcfamily.com. Halftime here at the J.C. Cantrell Gymnasium at Valley High School. Uh, tonight's Halftime uh, Scoreboard presented by Traditional Bank. Who you bank with matters. We've got uh, quite a few uh, girls uh, championship games going on all over the cross the state. Steve Bird will be efforting to get us as many of those scores as uh, possible as they come in. We will update them. Time for a look at tonight's halftime stats. Tonight's halftime stats presented by Ruoff Mortgage. Opening doors for those halftime stats. Let's turn it over to Coach Gary Forrest. Gary? Well, as the score indicates, 35-18, Butler over Bullet East here at halftime. And you look down at the rebounds, and if there ever was a case of being misleading, Butler has 20, Bullet East has 19. You say, well, okay, you know, that's one rebound apart. But then you look at field goal percentage, and Bullet East has three for 25 for 
yeah. a very cool 12 percent yep you know you can have 19 rebounds if a lot of them are offensive rebounds off your own misses they cannot buy a shot inside or out and that's what's led to this butler lead here at halftime yes uh, six offensive uh, rebounds for the uh the Barretts uh, thus far, and uh, so that that certainly uh, certainly is uh, contributing to that total individual uh, scoring. The uh, Bullities Chargers being led by Anna Tonelli in her nine. Anna Rogers has six. On the other side of the ball, Mariah Knight has a dozen, and Emery Gober has nine for the uh, Barretts. So uh, the certainly the the uh, Barrett's well in control of this one. If there is a negative thing, maybe it's the fact that uh, Rima White for Butler, their post player inside, has picked up three fouls and had to go to the bench. She's very active, kept the ball alive. She's a very good passer. Yep. But when they did that, they simply moved Knight over into her position, and they didn't miss a beat. Didn't they were to, smaller, no. but if anything, they were much more efficient because they were then quicker. Yeah. Well, the uh, again, the uh, the Barrett's well in control of this one in this uh, six-region uh, championship ball game. Well, let's step aside to hear from some more of our uh, fine Glycod sponsors, and when we come back, we'll get you set for the second quarter here on Glycod. 1965 male graduate and basketball star George Tensley knows the value of providing quality service. And that's what you get when you dine with Tensley Family Concessions. They provide travelers with many fine choices at Louisville Muhammad Ali International Airport. Whether it's Kentucky Fried Chicken, Chili's, or Starbucks, you know your travel experience will be a more comfortable and convenient one. Learn more about our company by visiting the website tfcfamily.com. Tradition means values, and we want a banker who has the same philosophy. Traditional Bank is a Kentucky-based business, and that does mean a lot to a business that is based in Kentucky. They know what we're going through. They are always there for us, and that means more than anything else. My name is Allison. I choose Traditional Bank because of the personal service. Paddle on in to Canoe, Kentucky. Blinds are wet, not just blinds. Blinds are wet, not just blinds. Flycon on YouTube is Kentuckiana's fastest growing high school sports video site. When you click to subscribe, don't forget to tap the bell and be notified of our upcoming live broadcasts and other unique video content. Subscribe for free now at youtube.com backslash Glycod. Family owned and operated since 1946, Thomas Car Wash has specialized in making Louisville cars look fresh and clean. Co-owned by 2006 Mill graduate Alex Thomas, Thomas Car Wash has four convenient locations, including their newly renovated one at 5321 Preston Highway, just a mile down from Mail. Additional locations include 6511 Preston Highway, 4139 Bardstown Road, and one at the intersection of Hurstbourne Parkway and Taylorsville Road. From full service to express washes to detailing and towel drying wash local with thomas car wash jim from state farm i would like to formally extend my gratitude for the russell rate on my insurance do you mean surprisingly great rates from state farm i don't believe in accepting help but i'll make an exception here's the deal russell there's no special rate these prices are for everyone consider a square I made that from memory. I know your face that well. For surprisingly great rates and great service, call State Farm agent Mike Shelton in Louisville today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. UA Local 502 is offering great career opportunities for plumbers, pipe fitters, and HVAC technicians. They're seeking highly skilled and trained workers with or without experience. Incentives include debt-free education, employer-funded benefits, apprenticeship that comes with employment, and high starting wages. If you're ready to accelerate your career or just want a fresh start, UA Local 502 could be for you. Contact them at 502-361-8492. UA Local 502. We do it right the first time. We are going to cut back into live action here as they stop the uh, halftime scoreboard with about 40 seconds to go and started play. So here we go. 
everybody's got some place to be later on this evening, I suppose. And we are now in the third quarter. So, Gary, we didn't get much of a chance there to uh, sort of reset as the ball knocked around there. One go in for Russell. Uh, just your thoughts, kind of putting yourself on both sides here. Well, you've got, you've got a pretty big hole that you've dug, and looks like White may have just picked up. Yeah, offensive foul there. Got a little frustrated. Use that arm to push off. Yep. Coaches are just trying to decide whether to take her out. And I think she's coming out. That's her third foul, not her fourth. Yeah, her third foul. Ramaya White checks to the sideline, and she, she the look on her face after she did it was, I know I shouldn't have done that. Uh, hand in the cookie jar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, frustration. Frustration, exactly. And admittedly, the, the Bullet East player was, was kind of wrapped around sure. her there. But, you know, that's, that's one of those where you just got to let it play on. Rodgers trying to be tenacious with... Knight there. Bullet East back 1-3-1. One, one. Way outside and by the Knight. <laughs> I'm not sure the back. her range is that good. Johnson just about losing the ball out of bounds, but chases it down. That was a long, long three-pointer. Packer will shoot the three. That one won't go. Tonelli. And then... Bounces it off of Bradley. Nice well, play there. The thing I'm seeing about Bullet East, when they do shoot their threes, they're getting their money's worth. They're a good five feet behind the line. Uh, I don't think you get any more points for those. Scoop shot. That one won't, wouldn't we've, go for Packer. We've seen that two times out of Packer today. About four feet out, underhands it up, but it uh, hadn't had any success. Don't get a lot of good rolls with that. Back on the half court, Bears attacking the 1-3-1. One, one. In the corner, Knights for three, well, buries it. Knights showed a range there. One thing I've noticed about the Bear Ants, they've shot the ball out of the corners really well against Bullet East zones. Rodgers. Well. Things crowded there. Packer, again with that sort of scoop shot, wouldn't go. Well, the field goal percentage for Bullet East hasn't gotten any better this early part of the third quarter. Remind everybody, it was it was 12 percent at the uh, at the half, so it's only sunk from there. They're currently over five starting this third quarter. Ouch. Robinson. Oh. Trying to find a cutting Bradley and timeout. So timeout on the floor. As Butler calls that timeout, we will step aside, take a quick break, be right back with more third quarter upcoming here on Glycon. The reason I went to Traditional Bank, I just felt at peace. The atmosphere was different. Anytime we need anything, Traditional Bank's always there for us. Can't say enough about them. Tradition to me means integrity. That's what our product's based on. Just the way I did it 25 years ago, we're doing it now on a mass scale. My name's Curtis Mackley, and I choose Traditional Bank because of the relationship we have formed with them and their integrity. Welcome to Mingy Beef Jerky. You're watching the 6th Region Basketball Tournament on Glycod. Sixth Region Championship uh, between uh, the uh, Butler Barretts and uh, Bullet East Lady Chargers, 38-18, the lead ballooning to 20. And as Gary pointed out, uh, Bullet East not helping themselves thus far in this quarter with their shooting 0 for 5. Well, you know, they've shot two threes that were extremely long when they didn't have to shoot them that long. And the two shots they've shot inside have been kind of – Underhand flip. They haven't been high percentage shots. So the deflection, though, comes to Tonelli. Picks up a dribble, trying to find a player underneath. There Rogers you go. Cleans it up. So Rogers breaks the long dry spell for East. And then driving it in it was Russell, and the blocking foul comes. No, they're going to say offensive foul. Offensive foul, my fault. So 
Player control, uh, that's three on Russell. Well, so chance to maybe chip into this lead a little bit for the Chargers. Trying to find Johnson in there, but Russell steps in and takes it away. Head, Knight, ooh, tough catch there. That foul comes. I tell you what, they just are having a hard time stopping Knight wherever yep. she is on the floor. Well, speaking of which, let's see if we can maybe in between these shots show you that three from the corner that I had a moment ago. They're just very active. Even on substitutions, they're talking to their teammates, make sure everybody's got who they're supposed to. They're a very well coached team. Yep. Absolutely. Candace Wheeler in her first season at yeah, but Butler. she's been around. She's, she's yeah, exactly. been at the collegiate level, so she's learned from a lot of different coaches, and it looks like she's putting it to use well. Yep. Long three there by Tonelli. Won't go. Gets her own rebound off the, the tip out. And then we've got a foul. I think Gober going to be whistled for that. She is. That's her third. So Butler has Bullet East doubled up here. We're almost halfway through the third period. And whistle comes. Ball wouldn't go through, but let's uh, show you that replay here. Knight was whistled for that foul. As Aubrey Packer, Jr., gets on the scoreboard. That's her first two points. Good looking stroke, of both of them. Yeah. Averages less than a less than a point a game, but uh, look nice there on those two. Look very comfortable at the line. But again, Butler. Patient but quick. Does that make sense, Coach? Yeah, very much so. The great John Wooten, one of his favorite lines. And also, I, I see Knight out there directing traffic. It's uh, you know, Coach Wheeler's got an extra floor general there. You she's can tell. coach on the floor for yeah, him. Yeah, she, she really is. is. Now she's calling for it. Shot goes up by Patrick. It won't go. Patrick had a nice night the, uh, the other night and scored well. That was Russell stepping across there. That makes it pretty easy. The so that's Russell's fourth. And after the free throws, Ramaya White will check back in the ball game. Johnston knocks home the first. So Ramiah White, senior, back in the ball game. And gets the board. Quickly up ahead into the corner. It's Alexander, but has it knocked away. Three point uh, attempt, won't go. Then the other way. Oh, Patrick couldn't get it to fall. Gets her own board. Now to White. That one will go. So White, and we've got a we've got a timeout on the floor, and that was taken by uh, the uh, Butler Barretts. So we'll take a brief break as well. Back with more third quarter here on Glycock. 
When you're buying or selling a new home and you want to do it with few hassles, count on Polo Real Estate Group. Founded and owned by 1993 Mail High graduate Dion Reese, Polo Real Estate has over two decades of experience and offers skillful consultation and representation for your sale or purchase. If you're a new or experienced agent and you would like to join Polo Real Estate, contact them at 502-702-7656. Polo Real Estate Group, a realtor you can trust. You're watching the six. Let's go. Let's cutting, play. Cutting back in as the uh, our referee crew wants to. Uh, their Rolling Stone gathers no moss. They uh, they want to get things moving. So they went they went early, and so did we. Tanelli with that bucket. Well, at least two for nine this third quarter. There's Knight. Couldn't get it to go. Ball knocked around. Finally, Tanelli ends up with it. Heads to the other end against White. Oh, nice block there. Well done. Bradley comes to the other end, kicks to the corner. That's Alexander, can't get it to fall. Now Robinson, and here comes the traffic, so she will back it up. Smart play there. Yep. Tanelli. oh, uses the glass. Nicely done. Got her for 13. She'd been quiet, but uh, scores a couple of buckets here. And then nobody stops Bradley. She can't get it to go. White with the board and then the foul. So Tanelli whistled for the foul. White knocks home the first. So Whiteson, she's checked back into the games, had a couple of boards, had a nice looking uh, jump shot from about the free throw line, and then a couple made free throws. Well, I think you hit it on the head, Todd. Uh, she's trying to make up for lost time. Yeah. That time on the bench said, I got to work on my stat line here a little yeah, bit. That's okay. Yeah. Tonelli, long three, long three off the mark. Packer, though, comes down with the board, then trapped. Somehow gets it out of there to Johnston. And then White cleans it up. As Johnston hits a deck hard. Quickly ahead, Alexander. Nice pass. Oh, trying to find Knight. Ball bounced around. And then who was that on the follow? That was Bradley on the follow. Only her second bucket of the night, but timely there. Johnston just goes around. As she knew White did not want to pick up that next foul. Robinson knocking it away, and East comes up with it. Johnson thought about the three. She decides, yeah, sure, I'll try it. Hard off back iron, gets her own board, charges in. Oh, gets the roll. Less than a minute to go here in the third quarter. Haskins drives it down. Gets it back out to Alexander. Spin move in traffic. Foul. We'll show you that drive by Alexander. It's going to go against Packer. Thirty-one point two ticks left on the clock here. It's Alexander knocks home the first. Alexander I in the second and gets the roll. As Amari Robinson checks back in the ball game, and well, this, White to the sideline. This gives White about a minute and a half to rest. You know, smart yep. timeout. You know, she looked like she was running on fumes a little bit, and the bench uh, made Coach aware of it and they got her out. 
Port East in a 1-4 set, having a hard time getting the ball started on the right-hand side, so they went left. 12 seconds to Nelly. Gives it to Johnson. She'll shoot the three behind the screen. Couldn't get it to go, though. Robinson down with the board. Gober shoots it from just inside half court. It will not go. And at the end of the third quarter, it is uh, Butler 48, Bullet East 31. Let's take a break. When we return, we will have a fourth quarter for you here on Glyco. For more than 35 years, online and through our branch office locations, Ruoff Mortgage has helped people discover, finance, and move into their homes with confidence. From the moment you send in an application to the day you get the keys, Ruoff keeps things moving exceptionally fast. By sharing knowledge and professional guidance, Ruoff Mortgage helps people see the potential and excitement in the homeownership experience. Visit one of our convenient branch locations or get started online at Ruoff.com. The news says Gen Z is struggling. I've got news for them. I wait tables, but last week I built a field hospital. I put out a forest fire. I stopped a thousand attackers. And a natural disaster. I've saved lives and led a team on patrol. I serve. While well, I go to school full time. While I work full time. The greater the challenge, the stronger we become. As we need to cut back in, like we talked about before, this uh, officials crew has decided they want to they want to roll on along. Well, so. there's no dollying around with this group. <laughs> nope. it's, let's get her in. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. Johnston looks to drive and uh, draws the foul. Anything uh, on the the stat sheet? Uh, Provided by uh, Bob Tonelli or any of your, your thoughts on your stat sheet that, uh, that jump out at you? You know, if anything, I thought to myself, it, it looks like Butler is sort of eased in the third quarter a little bit. Yeah. And uh, they had five turnovers. You know, they only had five for the entire first half. Right. So, uh, other than that, now you have to be real careful. The kids start clock watching or they start watching. It's like, we got a lead. I want to get points, but... They seem to be too good of a team and too well coached to let that happen. So a couple of free throws there from Johnson. White calling for it. Gets it on the block. Nice spin post move. move. Big yeah. spin. Couldn't get it to go, though. Nope, she did all the <laughs> and fundamental things right, just didn't go in. Huber hit the deck. Oh, nice run out there. And by Bryant, just her first field goal of the night. Well done running the floor, though. And then she fouls Gober. Little push. Well, Bullet East trying to get themselves back in the game. Well, made buckets are going to 2 2 1. And unfortunately, with the quickness that Butler has, when they go to 2 2 1, they kind of run along beside them, and it's an easy foul to call. Oh, good hands there by Bryant, and then not uh, not quite as quick a hands by Bradley, and knocked down both she and Johnston. A little push there, but Bryant on the initial inbounds, good hands, is knocking that ball away. Tonelli draws the foul. Well, if we're not real careful, this is going to turn into a foul fest. Yeah. Butler likes to stay with that man-to-man, -man, but I think Bullet East has decided we're just going to put our heads down and drive. They've had some yep. success with it. There was just some uh, question about who the foul was on. It was on Bradley for a second. Tonelli uh, 
unable to convert on that first of the free tosses. Seconds rolls through. 2-2-1 two, two, press now. Bullity's trying to pick things up. Butler simply throws over. Now let's see what they do on the half. Gotten in a little hurry the last couple of times. Seems to get back in their offensive set. And moving Illegal screen. screen. Yep. yep. Well, that's your guard's fault. She didn't give her big one time to get set. Right. And the big one's still moving when she takes off. She sets her teammate up for that foul. It was an easy call. Yep. And that is Ramaya White's fourth. So. But I would imagine she's going to stay in the game at this point. Oh, Roger. I think so. Nice look there. Well, 2-2-1 two, two, still. Oh, ball taken away again by Rogers. The foul and the buckets. And the Bullet East crowd sure goes crazy. Well, Rodgers, go the, ahead. The 2 2 1 press that Bullet East has gotten into has sort of helped them. What we didn't see the entire first half into the third quarter was Butler not doing a very good job handling the ball. And right now, they're playing like they're behind. And it's all of a sudden a seven point game. It was a 20 point game, folks at the end of the third. And it's a seven point ball game now. And another turnover by Butler. Well, that's eight turnovers As for they're the beginning half. to lose their. And we've got a timeout on the floor as Candace Wheeler was calling for that. And the referee on the inline didn't see her. But we've got a timeout on the floor. So we will take a timeout as well. Back with more fourth quarter upcoming here on Glycock. You're overly competitive brother. Psych. And I'm about to steal this game from you. Just like I stole Kelly Carter in high school, huh? Foul! And now you're ready to settle a score. Game over. <laughs> and if you don't have the right home insurance coverage, well, you can end up paying for all this yourself. So get Allstate and be better protected from mayhem. Yeah, like me. Thanks, bro. Take a lap, rookie. Contact Louisville and Lexington Allstate agent Thomas Allen for a quote today. You're watching the 6th Region Basketball Tournament on Glycod. This segment of tonight's game brought to you by Allstate Insurance agent Thomas Allen. For a quote on home, auto, or life insurance, contact Thomas at 502-425-8484. Thomas Allen, 502-425-8484. Well, you can hear it inside the gym here, both the Butler uh, folks getting crazy and Bullet East as well. And uh, so Bullet East on a run here, uh, Coach. Well, very much so, as we were getting ready to say, it almost seems like Butler uh, had decided to kind of slow things down and uh, got themselves in trouble. And there's Tonelli. So Tonelli for two, and we've got a five-point game. There's and then a trap. Another turnover. And another turnover. Yeah, right now, Butler's guards have not handled this front part of the 2-2-1 press. And quite frankly, it hasn't been a lot of pressure. It's more them shooting themselves in the foot. Right. And this is for the uh, right to play against the 8th region uh, champion. I'll fill you in more on that here in just a second. On that miss, pulled down by Butler, uh, Anderson County will play the winner of this one as they win the, uh, they defeated Spencer County 36-33 for that eighth region championship. The first of the free tosses goes through. For Russell. And 
She gets both. Back to seven. Tonelli's just going to put her head down. Got around. Got it to go. I've got her with 18. And back to a five-point game. Nice give go to Gober. Blocked out of there. And Tonelli trips. That one's going to go against Bradley. That should be her third. So Tonelli knocks home the first, cuts it to four. And that one won't go. White hauls it down. Oh, and then a pass it just about ended up in the white jersey's hands. Gober for three. Oh, halfway down, pops out. See, I'm not sure if that's a good shot at this time. Well, with momentum, he kind of, momentum going towards the white, you'd kind of, oh, Tonelli again. And it's a two-point ball game. Tonelli's really taking over here. Now here's Knight. And the ball knocked out of bounds. Foul. Is, was it a foul? Yes, I'm sorry. You are right. You are correct. And that was against Tanel. Well, the thing to remember, if you're a butler, the same shot that was a good shot for you for the first three quarters might not be the good shot now. And they continue to bomb from the corner. And Gober, and we've got a – is that a foul? Offensive foul? And if that's against 33, it is – she is uh, disqualified now with eight points is Ramaya White. So White goes to the sideline. Amari Robinson checks in. Well, right now, Butler could probably stand to use a timeout to get their kids calmed down. Because as we've mentioned so many times in this quarter, they're playing like they're behind. Right, they are. Absolutely. So it's down to a one-possession game. Could be a one-point game. But no, Packer misses on both. Quickly to the corner. Gober, she's fouled. Carly Bryant's with the foul on the baseline. Instead of stepping back to try to shoot the three there, she put it right on the floor well, and tried to take it in. Well, even if she steps back to shoot it, she's guarded. And, yeah. you know, Gover was going to shoot it regardless. And, and there's where they maybe need to calm them down. And Gover might be the first one just a little bit like, hey, we got plenty of time for that shot. On the drive, shoots the floater. She's made a few of those tonight. That one wouldn't go. But then the uh, Omari Robinson fouled on the putback. That one's going to go against Molly Johnston. Just her first foul. Wow. So Robinson nails the first. Still a one possession game. Although the Lady Chargers have only shot 14% from three tonight, so oh, so not been uh, too accurate there. Tonelli quickly down. Robinson finds Packer, and uh, she just, uh, I think, was trying to find Tonelli. She thought would be cutting and ended up going right down. Oh, nicely done, but Russell couldn't connect. Got a good look. It hung on the rim. <laughs> Packer, and she's fouled. 
Well, Todd, you bring up an interesting point. <laughs> Butler has spent in a man-to-man the entire game. Right. And I assume it's a defense they're comfortable playing, but I also assume that they're a little concerned about playing a zone that Bullet East might start making threes. But quite frankly, Bullet East is really hurting them more on dribbled penetration layups and haven't made a lot of threes. And no. we talked about how when they shot the threes, they've shot them about 22 <laughs> feet out. Packer, now might be a good time for a change, but maybe she feels she, they're only comfortable with a man. Packer's had four chances to cut in the lead here the last couple of trips yeah. down the court and has not been able to do so. And players down and out of bounds. So good Bryant call. dove on the ball, but it was her feet were out of bounds when she dove on it. Referee right there. This officiating crew from the 11th region. Knight getting some instructions here. Dumps it down inside. Robinson, oh, blocked away by Packer. Shovel pass, Gober. And finally ball goes back the other way. And a shove there this time against Amari Robinson. That's her third. And East will shoot. Who was fouled? That looks like Johnston. Or is it Packer again? And Packer 39 coming in a 39% free throw shooter. And unfortunately, that's that's only gone down because yes. she's had four attempts and no makes. She's really struggled this second half and, and got that one with a she hard get that one. Yep. That's her first point of the game. Well, it came in a very good time for him. Ooh, I mean, that one wasn't close. Nope. So Knight down with it. And the winner of this one gets to play Anderson County. Anderson is good on Wednesday night. So do we know, did Anderson win tonight? Yes, they won tonight. They beat Spencer County, but it was close. It was 36-33. Uh, felt, felt like it would be. Benelli scoops it over. Packer gets it to go. Tie ball game. Her first field goal of the night. Wants to be the hero at school on Monday. Inside. Bears missed it. Boy, another miss layup. Ball caromed around. Now to Tonelli. Cross court. Johnston. Eight straight misses for Butler. Tonelli. Inside. Now sit inside now. Robinson. Oh, nicely done there. Alexander. And. Uh, the ball thrown out of bounds. We're going to show you that bucket that tied the ball game here while we've got the chance. Well, I'm looking at nice. Butler's kids, and uh, they look a little bewildered right now. A little, yeah, a little frustrated. A little, yeah, bewildered's not a bad word. Well, Ramiah White fouled out just a few moments ago. Now a tie-up. Jump ball. Ball's going to come back the way of the white jerseys. Now, last game we had jump balls aplenty, but that's the first one it seems like in the second half. Well, watch Tonelli. It's about time for her to make that drive. And then we've got a timeout. Timeout on the floor from Coach Stallings and uh, Bullet East. So we will take a timeout as well. But we've got a barn burner for you. Stay tuned for more here on Glycott. UA Local 502 is offering great career opportunities for plumbers, pipe fitters, and HVAC technicians. They're seeking highly skilled and trained workers with or without experience. Incentives include debt-free education, employer-funded benefits, apprenticeship that comes with employment, and high starting wages. If you're ready to accelerate your career or just want a fresh start, UA Local 502 could be for you. Contact them at 502-361-8492. UA Local 502. We do it right the first time. 
You're watching the 6th Region Basketball Tournament on Glycod. Well, folks, our fourth game of the day from here inside J.C. Cantrell Gymnasium on Glycod at Valley High School. And this one uh, is the best so far, to be real honest with you, as far as tight ball game in the last couple of minutes. Uh, 124 left on the clock, 51 all. Both teams will shoot the bonus. Uh, and one timeout left for Butler, two for Bullet East. And the uh, possession arrow... Uh, goes towards Butler on a tie-up. And Tonelli definitely has taken over this fourth quarter. I would take the ball out of her hands. And one of the ways you do that, you either trap them, zone them. Down inside. Roger, oh, she lost the handle, but gets it out. Carly Bryant gets it to Tonelli, and she knocks it off the feet of... Bradley. That's it all. Throw the ball off your opponent, and she almost missed the opponent. Right, yeah. Take it out of Tonelli's hands. And Tonelli puts it up. Can't get it to go, but Johnson with the board and the foul. My goodness. Johnson will have the chance. We'll show you the replay there. And she will have the chance to break the tie from the free throw line. Seventy-one percent free throw shooter. Well, we've had misses a good first. free throw shooters miss them. We've yep. had poor free throw shooters Hit miss them. them. Oh, miss yeah. them, yeah. If the cameras are uh, vibrating, folks. So oh, two misses. Under a minute now. Let's see if we've set up anything different offensively. As Patrick now into the corner. Bradley gets the three to go. Tonelli, 31 seconds left, has to give it up. Rodgers and a timeout. So timeout on the floor, Bullet East. But you know what? We're, first, we're going to show you that three-pointer, and we're going to keep it here and pick uh, Coach's brain about this one. But first, let's show you that made three from the corner by uh, Keziah Bradley. As she drains it, making it 54-51, 28.4 left on the clock. Coach? Put yourself in both huddles. Huddles. What are you telling them? Well, let's go uh, with the Bears first. They just made a shot. One they seem to be comfortable shooting. They've shot a lot of corner shots. Finally got one to drop, so that puts them up three. So now you want to play at this end, and what you want to do is you want to take away any good looks at threes. But remember, a layup can be a three-two if you foul late. Yep. So you want to be smart there. If you're bullet east. You got 28 seconds to go, a ton of times. One of the things they haven't done is gone inside and then kicked back out with a good looking three. I expect Tonelli once again to be the one who initiates things. Well, and I'll remind you folks that uh, <coughs> the, uh, the Chargers, Lady Chargers, have not shot the ball well from three. Uh, the first three quarters, they were two for 14. So well, I'll tell you what else, Todd. They haven't shot it well from the line. No. So, yep. you know, you may just foul them and put them on the line. That, that is true. That There is that possibility. If it comes down close, you might want to think about it. I'm going to foul 44 because she's missed them if yep. she gets the ball yep. again. Tonelli with it, cut off, and blocked, and taken away. Robinson with the block. And now Patrick trying to dribble Ooh. it out, and she goes down hard. The foul with 5.7 seconds left. I tell you what, she might have gutsy play when she went behind her back here at half court. See if we can show you that block shot as Rogers has it blocked, and Patrick will go to the line with the opportunity to salt this one away. Malia Patrick, senior, doing uh, good senior stuff. 
And can't get it to go. So Patrick, 40% free throw shooter. If she makes this one, it pretty well salts it away, but with a miss. Oh, never to say never. And there's the make. And we have a timeout again on the floor. Yep. I didn't think anybody no, called No, no timeout. Out. Okay. Now, Bullities calls their last timeout. And we're going to keep it here again because the way this has gone, they will, uh, they will start this thing quick. <laughs> I don't want to miss anything. So, Malia Patrick, her first point of the night, I do believe. I'm going to double check here, but I'm fairly certain that's correct. Yep, her first point of the night was that free throw that uh, could very well ice well, away the game. Now we've got the bus driver, the guy with the baseball cap. He's decided to step out on the floor and coach. So uh, we have different people for different coaching scenarios, apparently, for Butler. But only one can stand, and this guy, I don't know who he is. He's, he, he was uh, active the other night in knowing what was, what was going on. So he, well, he's tried to take over right now, uh, yep. and only one can stand. He better have a seat. Baseball pass comes right into the hands of Robinson back into the front court. Patrick will shoot at the buzzer. It will not go. And our final from here at Valley High School is Butler Lady Barretts 55, Bullet East uh, Lady Chargers 51, and the sixth region championship goes to Butler. Well, we will have the post-game show upcoming for you, but we had an exciting nightcap uh, here at Valley High School. Stay tuned for the post-game show upcoming on Glycock. Go ahead, pour it on, as thick as you want to. Holy Smokes Barbecue and Catering. Serving up the tastiest ribs, chicken, brisket, brown sugar sticky wings, mutton and ham. Always served to you fresh and so good. It'll make you say, Holy Smokes! Holy Smokes Barbecue and Catering, 7508 Preston Highway. Holy Smokes! For more than 35 years, online and through our branch office locations, Ruoff Mortgage has helped people discover, finance, and move into their homes with confidence. From the moment you send in an application to the day you get the keys, Ruoff keeps things moving exceptionally fast. By sharing knowledge and professional guidance, Ruoff Mortgage helps people see the potential and excitement in the homeownership experience. Visit one of our convenient branch locations or get started online at Ruoff.com. 1965 male graduate and basketball star George Tensley knows the value of providing quality service. And that's what you get when you dine with Tensley Family Concessions. They provide travelers with many fine choices at Louisville Muhammad Ali International Airport. Whether it's Kentucky Fried Chicken, Chili's, or Starbucks, you know your travel experience will be a more comfortable and convenient one. Learn more about our company by visiting the website tfcfamily.com. New recruit, take advantage of our apprenticeship program. Come out of our four-year course debt-free. With health insurance, a guaranteed pension, a degree, and an electrical license. Three words I'd use to describe the apprenticeship are opportunity, skillful, educational, solid career path, rewarding, beneficial, and a brotherhood. A life-changing opportunity. The cost of school is free. All your books are paid for. You go to school once every two weeks. All the other stuff is on-the-job training. The teachers here are great. Uh, they're all very, very knowledgeable. They're preparing you for what you're already seeing in the field. If you're struggling with something in school, sometimes your fellow students can help you work through that. Everyone's willing to help each other. It's like a big family. I love being a part of a union, something bigger than myself. This field is so vast. You can find something that you really love to do because there is so much you can do. I went from a job to a, a life-changing career. Power up your potential with the IBEW. The news says Gen Z is struggling. I've got news for them. I weigh tables, but last week I built a field hospital. 
I put out a forest fire. I stopped a thousand attackers. And a natural disaster. I've saved lives. And led a team on patrol. I serve. While I go to school full time. While I work full time. The greater the challenge, the stronger we become. Hey, uh, I didn't order any pizza. Jake from State Farm. After you saved me so much dough on insurance with that Parker promo, I devised a promo for you. Here's the deal, Parker. State Farm offers everyone surprisingly great rates. Right. Pepperoni pockets. Cuckoo crusties. There's no promo. It's just great rates. And a cider ranch. For your surprisingly great home and auto rate, call State Farm agent Brian Morrison in Louisville today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Tonight's post-game recap is brought to you by State Farm Insurance Agents Brian Morrison and Mike Shelton. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Back at uh, J.C. Cantrell uh, Gymnasium here at uh, Valley High School where the Butler Barretts defeats the Bullet East Lady Chargers 55-51. Uh, Gary, this one was uh, this one was was interestingly played the the whole game as the the Butler built a twenty point lead and then uh, managed to give it back. We had a fifty one all tie with a, what a minute and a half or so to go, and then played gritty down the down the stretch held. Uh, Held, uh, held Bullet East scoreless and uh, got those last four points to win this one. Well, hopefully lesson learned for the Lady Barretts. You don't always play the same all the way through because games change kind of like the seasons. And uh, they were still playing about 80 miles an hour in the last minute of the game as their lead continued to diminish. They would bring it down, jack up quick shots, you know, time and situation is everything, and it's a lesson to be learned, and hopefully they will. They were successful. For Bullet East, it allowed them to get themselves back into the ball game and an opportunity to actually go ahead. But in the end, Butler was able to prevail. Well, let's uh, take this opportunity to do two things. One, tell you that uh, uh, tonight's scoreboard presented by Traditional Bank, who you bank with matters. I will be updating that. A bunch of scores come in for us uh, from uh, Steve Bird. So, Keep checking that as that will change here over the next few minutes. And then uh, time to look at tonight's final numbers. Tonight's final numbers brought to you by Ruoff Mortgage. Ruoff Mortgage opening doors for that. We will turn it back over uh, to Gary. So uh, walk us through some, some numbers here for both ball clubs, please. Oh, Ready? sorry. Yeah, go okay. ahead, Gary. I'm sorry. Yeah, please. Well, I think the, the thing that we talked about earlier – uh, rebounds are a great example, 42 for Butler, 37 for Bullet East. But a lot of that is deceiving. Uh, you know, Bullet East only shot 12% the first half, and, and that was because they missed so many shots, but they got a lot of offensive rebounds, and that made the difference. And then, obviously, they were turnovers and uh, turnovers, 20 big turnovers for the Lady Barretts. They only had five at half, so that means 15 the second half. So that opened the door for Bullet East. And for Bullet East, only 13 turnovers. So that enables them to get back in it. We talked about one of their keys. They couldn't have lots of turnovers, and they wouldn't have a chance. So in the end, a lot of the keys worked for both teams, but obviously they worked the best for Butler as they ended up winning the game. So those are the team uh, statistics. Uh, just briefly uh, looking at the uh, the scoring numbers for both ball clubs uh, in the the loss. Bullet East Chargers. I, I continue to be impressed by Anna Tonelli. She's only a sophomore, and so uh, that's one of those things. Chris Stallings uh, has has a really great guard in her. She's she had 21 nine at the break, and then. Uh, uh, had had those 12 points in the second half, really leading her well, ball club. Well, most of those were in the fourth quarter, too. Yeah, yeah they were. She really Absolutely. went on a roll. And then uh, 13 from uh, Anna Rogers and 9 from Molly Johnson. Then on the other side of the ball, Mariah Knight, uh, it, it, a senior, played uh, very well in the first half, really, uh, especially uh, uh, when uh, Ramiah White went to the bench. 
um, with those early fouls. And Mariah Knight had 17 in the in the contest. Uh, Emery Gober had uh, nine, and Ramiah White uh, did foul out with with eight points. And uh, that was certainly big uh, for. Uh, the, the, the Bulldogs, but uh, they played well and had a lot of people score. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different players score. So definitely some depth there. Well, we talked about their depth, how they would use up to nine, and you had eight that scored, so they kind of followed along script. Only uh, only time they got a little shaky was the time that you probably don't want to, and that was late in the fourth quarter. Right, Absolutely. Well, okay, let's uh, step aside, uh, take a break. We'll be back with most outstanding players. Stay tuned for that here on Glycock. Jake from State Farm, I would like to formally extend my gratitude for the Russell rate on my insurance. Do you mean surprisingly great rates from State Farm? I don't believe in accepting help, but I'll make an exception. Here's the deal, Russell. There's no special rate. These prices are for everyone. Consider a square. I made that from memory. I know your face that well. For surprisingly great rates and great service, call State Farm agent Mike Shelton in Louisville today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. UA Local 502 is offering great career opportunities for plumbers, pipe fitters, and HVAC technicians. They're seeking highly skilled and trained workers with or without experience. Incentives include debt-free education, employer-funded benefits, apprenticeship that comes with employment, and high starting wages. If you're ready to accelerate your career or just want a fresh start, UA Local 502 could be for you. Contact them at 502-361-8492. UA Local 502. We do it right the first time. Tradition means values, and we want a banker who has the same philosophy. Traditional bank is a Kentucky-based business, and that does mean a lot to a business that is based in Kentucky. They know what we're going through. They are always there for us, and that means more than anything else. My name is Allison. I choose Traditional Bank because of the personal service. Paddle on in to Canoe, Kentucky. When you're buying or selling a new home and you want to do it with few hassles, count on Polo Real Estate Group. Founded and owned by 1993 Mail High graduate Dion Reese, Polo Real Estate has over two decades of experience and offers skillful consultation and representation for your sale or purchase. If you're a new or experienced agent and you would like to join Polo Real Estate, contact them at 502-702-7656. Polo Real Estate Group, a realtor you can trust. The news says Gen Z is struggling. I've got news for them. I wait tables. But last week, I built a field hospital. I put out a forest fire. I stopped a thousand attackers. And a natural disaster. I've saved lives. And led a team on patrol. I serve. While I go to school full time. While I work full time. The greater the challenge, the stronger we become. 1965 male graduate and basketball star George Tensley knows the value of providing quality service. And that's what you get when you dine with Tensley Family Concessions. They provide travelers with many fine choices at Louisville Muhammad Ali International Airport. Whether it's Kentucky Fried Chicken, Chili's, or Starbucks, you know your travel experience will be a more comfortable and convenient one. Learn more about our company by visiting the website tfcfamily.com. You're watching the 6th Region Basketball Tournament on Glycod. It is time to give you our most outstanding players of the game. Our Tonight's most outstanding players presented by State Farm Insurance agents Mike Shelton and Brian Morrison. Uh, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Tonight's most outstanding players of the ball game. And for those, let's uh, again turn it back over to uh, Coach Gary Forrest. Uh, Coach? Well, enjoyable game. You know, the way you want to see them right down to the end. Uh, uh, Maria Knight. For Butler, a double-double, 17 points, 10 rebounds, and uh, 
you know, carried them for large portions of the game. You know, her inside's presence as well as outside. And for Bullet East, Bullet East it's Anna Tonelli, you know, who started off slow but ended up with 21 points. And a lot of the damage she did was latter third quarter and fourth quarter during the Chargers run to get this thing back to a close ball game. Yeah, it was uh, was really uh, – uh, she, she played well down the stretch. And, and Butler, you know, this is one of those things where I, I would think, Coach, uh, you, uh, for Butler, you want to you want to learn from this sort of what not to do with a big lead, well, right? Don't you want to learn, and you yeah. want your kids to learn from it. Yeah. You know, yeah. That's the big key. Because yeah. sometimes, you know, you win games and you do a lot of things that maybe weren't good, and uh, you question your kids if they learn from it and such. Yeah. Well, we're going to take one last quick break. We'll be back, uh, show you the schedule, and put a bow on it. But uh, back to wrap things up here from uh, Valley High School as uh, the, again, the uh, Butler Lady Barretts uh, emerge victorious in this one uh, tonight, 55-51 on Glycott. Hey, uh, I didn't order any pizza. Jake from State Farm. After you saved me so much dough on insurance with that Parker promo, I devised a promo for you. Here's the deal, Parker. State Farm offers everyone surprisingly great rates. Right. Pepperoni pockets. Cuckoo crusties. There's no promo. It's just great rates. And a cider ranch. For your surprisingly great home and auto rate, call State Farm agent Brian Morrison in Louisville today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. The reason I went to Traditional Bank, I just felt at peace. The atmosphere was different. Anytime we need anything, Traditional Bank's always there for us. Can't say enough about them. Tradition to me means integrity. That's what our product is based on. Just the way I did it 25 years ago, we're doing it now on a mass scale. My name's Curtis Mackley, and I choose Traditional Bank because of the relationship we have formed with them and their integrity. Welcome to Mingy Beef Jerky. The news says Gen Z is struggling. I've got news for them. I wait tables. But last week, I built a field hospital. I put out a forest fire. I stopped a thousand attackers. And a natural disaster. I've saved lives. And led a team on patrol. I serve. While I go to school full time. While I work full time. The greater the challenge, the stronger we become. UA Local 502 is offering great career opportunities for plumbers, pipe fitters, and HVAC technicians. They're seeking highly skilled and trained workers with or without experience. Incentives include debt-free education, employer-funded benefits, apprenticeship that comes with employment, and high starting wages. If you're ready to accelerate your career or just want a fresh start, UA Local 502 could be for you. Contact them at 502-361-8492. UA Local 502. We do it right the first time. I'm your overly competitive brother. Psych. And I'm about to steal this game from you. Just like I stole Kelly Carter in high school, huh? No! And now you're ready to settle a score. Game over. <laughs> and if you don't have the right home insurance coverage, well, you can end up paying for all this yourself. So get Allstate and be better protected from mayhem. Yeah, like me. Thanks, bro. Take a lap, rookie. Contact Louisville and Lexington Allstate agent Thomas Allen for a quote today. You're watching the 6th Region Basketball Tournament on Glycod. And we are back here at Valley High School, Butler 55-51 in this final. So Butler will advance uh, to the uh, Sweet 16. They, they will play the 8th uh, Region uh, winner which was Anderson County on Wednesday night at 6 p.m. Our uh, earlier game uh, between uh, the uh, b between uh, Sacred Heart uh, and uh, uh, Manual and Sacred Heart advances, uh, they will play on uh, Thursday night, and uh, they will play George Rogers Clark, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. And... Then we'll show you just quickly our little bit of our upcoming schedule. But I'm going to basically send you to uh, Glycod.com, www.glycod.com for all the games and scores. On Monday night, we've got both 8th Region Boys Semifinals and 7th Region Championships. 
uh, from here at Valley High School. And then on Tuesday night, uh, 7 p.m. tip-off, we've got three ball games, 6th, 8th, and 11th region championships all going on on, uh, on that uh, uh, Tuesday night, including the uh, uh, Evangel versus Fairdale from the 6th region from here at uh, Valley High School. And then uh, uh, Trinity, hold on, I just lost it. Who are they playing? Uh, 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 uh. Seventh region, uh, Fairdale. Yeah. On uh, no. No. Fairdale's playing eventual sixth. Yeah, that's right. It'll come to me, folks. I'm sorry. Anyway, uh, six, seven, six, eighth, and eleventh. I've only been here twelve hours, Gary. So you know, <laughs> so that's one of those things. So that's uh, that's it for uh, the schedule. Go to www.glycod.com and uh, look up Tournament Central. We'll have all the times games. And for you. Well, uh, Gary, put a bow on this one, and we'll get out of here. Well, a game that looked like it might be a runaway as Butler had defeated Bullet East twice during the season. Uh, Bullet East had a little something to say to it and gave them a good fight for their money, took it down to a tie ball game with less than a minute to go, only to see Butler knock down a deep three to prevail in this game and win the region and the rights to go on to the state tournament. It was uh, it was a heck of a ball game. It really was. So uh, this one this one was a good one. And uh, again, Butler goes on to that Sweet Sixteen. Well, I uh, f- want to thank uh, Steve Bird, our executive producer, Max Gorley, our camera operator. I want to also give a shout out to Bob Tanini for uh, 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 giving us uh, getting us uh, these stats uh, from the region committee. We appreciate uh, that, and of course. Uh, I also have to have to uh, apologize here as I put up the announcers and guess what? I put didn't didn't change it from earlier. It's Coach Gary Forrest was our analyst on this ball game. I'm Dr. Todd Carter. It has been a been a long day, but uh, we're going to sign off from here at J.C. Cantrell Gymnasium at Valley High School again. Butler emerges Victoria. Uh, good night. God bless, and we'll see you next time on Glycott. You've been watching the 6th Region Basketball Tournament on Glycod. Tonight's game was brought to you by UA Local 502, built on excellence, building a better tomorrow. Tinsley Family Concessions, commitment to quality. Polo Real Estate Group, a realtor you can trust. State Farm Insurance Agents Brian Morrison and Mike Shelton. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Blunt Dental Group, straightforward smiles. All-state insurance agent Thomas Allen, he puts you in good hands. Thomas Car Wash and Holy Smokes Barbecue. Visit our website, glicod.com, Facebook and Twitter at Glycod. We thank you for tuning in to this live sports presentation from Glycod. <laughs>